Hello and welcome to another episode of the Never A Straight Answer podcast, the podcast that aims to cover a wide range of topics from conspiracy theories to popular culture and news. I'm your host Gaz and joining me in the studio, he's an ordinary person with extraordinary dreams of changing optimistic thoughts into pessimistic ones. He's my co-host, he's Mr. Taylor. <laughs> yeah, good evening. Yeah, you're wow. you, man. <laughs> Let's make some noise. Woo-hoo. It's almost Christmas, God damn it! Hell yeah, Christmas coming up again. Wow, these guys really know how to party. Well, yeah, it's it been, is. it has um, been a, a, you know, party town. It's been party atmosphere oh, yeah. until today. Yeah, because uh, England have just dropped out of the World Cup. Yeah, they've just been kicked out. Yeah, then French. Yeah, then French again. Yeah. Well, Anyway, yeah. we'll talk about that in a bit. We will Thank do. you for joining us and welcome back to another show. Yeah. Thank you, whether you be new listeners or repeat offenders. Oh, keep repeating. Happy holidays. Yes, it's merry, coming merry. up fast. It is. I hope fast. you've done all your Christmas shopping. Done none. Done none. None. Not I, a single I, see, one. I, I went. I got like, in a local garage. I, I went dude. shopping this morning, man. We made sure I was at the shops when they opened because yeah. I was like, I'm getting this done. Get it out of the way on a Saturday. I wanted to do that weeks ago. Well, I did it. I was I was on my way home by like half ten, eleven, and I was like seeing all these people flooding what into time did Manchester. You get there? Was there ever doors opening? Nine early, o'clock. early doors, yeah. So, so like, you're on it a couple of hours then. So was, you yeah, get a it all of done. Hours. Then. Yeah, well, that's the that, that's the beauty when it's quiet. Did you get yourself out? Oh yeah, always treat yourself. Oh yeah, you got to treat, treat yourself. yourself. What's it? You Don't know, beat uh, yourself. Treat yourself. Exactly. Do you know when you work hard and it's like, as I always find, like if if you can, can treat yourself to sust a little something. Yeah, do you yeah, know what it yeah. helps. Chocolate bar. A yeah, new I mean that's, that's quite something. weak. I mean a chocolate bar is well. Yeah, things, but, but some people some like people you know use that as their yeah, che- che- yeah. Uh, cheap treat. Cheap and cheerful. You yeah. know what I mean? Um. So yeah, I get I get that, and I think like you know. There's a, a lot of expense. There's yeah, a lot of kind of, um, you know, um, bills rising and all yeah. the rest of it. Yep. And people work hard. So, you know, yeah. I feel like if you're able to treat yourself to a little something, yeah. one, at least once a month, then it helps, yeah, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it helps, yeah, yeah, yeah. It cheers you the, up a little um, bit more. Gets you, through, gets the you next, through the next one. Yeah. Um, and, like, Neat. the weather's getting colder. It's getting it darker is. nights. It is. The sun's gone away. It's putting his hat on. Don't I just know it, mate? It's, like, literally been, like, minus five. I went to work. It was, like, the moon was out. And then I come home from work. The moon was out. And I was just like, wow, it's just dark all the I time, know isn't it? it's getting dark fast now. So, yes. Really fast. Well, we've got an interesting um, episode coming up we have we have um, this week we're going to be talking about it's not the same santa you might think of but no. santa muerta oh santa which is Mera. um oh. it's known by a wide variety of other names yes. um the skinny lady oh yeah, yeah. the bony lady oh she's a bit bony <laughs> quite a bit yeah she needs to put on a bit uh, of weight the white girl uh the white sister oh uh the pretty girl the um, white the lady, the black lady. Uh, it's been loads She's of names, loads, loads of different names. names, right? And but the basic idea is, it's what we kind of discovered as a cult, really, at the beginning. Um, which, yeah. as we've kind of done the research, it's ended up. I feel like it's a it's, lot more than that yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. Um, and more of a, a new, re- I'd say more of a religion. Really, I wouldn't say it was a new religion, but it's. I say it's, it's coming close to being one. It's. But it's really weird. Like, I mean, I, w- I, yeah, mean, I don't yeah. want to offend anybody, no. but, I mean, is in terms of what you would associate to, like, you know, praying to a deity, deity yeah. or whatever, um, this is um, a bit more peculiar than that. In in Mexico, they have the Day of the Dead, yes, which they, is yeah. Um, yeah. an interesting... I love the festival, and yeah. I love the concept it's a of, good idea. Yeah, of good concept. Be celebrating the dead. Yeah. Right, yeah. And yeah. this is... I think we're going to end up getting in a bit of a debate about this later, because I, I feel like the celebration of the dead is different to what this kind of offers as yeah. a kind of a, a perk of joining the religion, if you like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and this is Western side talking. Yeah, well. No, so well, we this did, is this is you know me. I mean, yeah. I mean I'm, so. I'm struggling with this one, to be honest, in terms of, like, getting my head around it, because just, like, from a good, bad sort of perspective... You know, we'll, yeah, because we'll when you it. passed it to me, uh, me to uh, look into it as well, I, it, it did. I, I expected it to be, you know, all evil and bad, but then I was really actually shocked on how it's worked out and how how it's coming across. Yeah, but then again, like we again, we like I said, we had a, a pre pre conversation yeah, about this, and it's do. like I feel like there is still kind of this debate there to be had. Yeah. Yeah. We'll be getting into we it a bit do. later on. We'll I mean, Santa Murta can be translated into English as rather Saint Death. 
yeah. or holy death. Um, yeah. It's basically like if you can imagine what we in the West or in your in Europe mm. um, portray death as uh, this cloaked thi- um, skeleton or skeletal figure carrying so a like scythe. Mary, isn't it? Holy Mary, yeah. it, like, no, but, but the we, Holy Mary kind of looks a bit healthy. <laughs> Do you yeah, know what I mean? But she's and, bones, uh, and, basically. And let me just put it out there: alive. Yeah, um, you know. Okay. We'll be getting into it we because, will. like we I say, will. there is a lot to yeah. it. Oh, um, yeah, it can get complicated. It this. can get complicated. Yeah. That's, that is coming up shortly in the show, plus this week's random events oh, in yeah. this week's NASA news. Yeah. And a new segment we are going to be calling Kanye West News. <laughs> yes, Kanye. Yay, yay. Kanye, no. Yay, yeah, yay to the West. No, Let's no. see what he's up to this week. No, no to the West. Yeah. Yeah, well, I, I, it, it's not even a case about what he's up to this week. Yeah. It's a case of what's he done in the last hour. Well, uh, well uh, yeah, yeah. So I we'll don't be, think we have that n- enough time to do all that. Yeah, so um, is Kanye a yay, yay or a nay, nay? Uh, we'll be getting yeah. into that a bit later. We will. Uh, but I've got a riddle for you. All right. And it's a this, bit... Yeah. Into kind of tonight's theme. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah. just bear that in mind right, when thinking about your answer, right? And if yeah. if he doesn't get it, yeah. Yeah, I'll be I'll be, my fro- wrist. I'll be throwing it to you guys at home. Oh, right. right. All right. Here we go. So, you ready? I'm ready. I'm always ready. I don't have eyes. Right. But I once did see. Once I had thoughts, but now I'm white and empty. What am I? I would say a skull. And you would be correct. Well done. That yeah, wasn't really right. that bad of a, t- a twister. You no, could have given yeah. us a longer pause. I, w- I was thinking about it, but then I thought, what about skeleton? But then you would have said, nah. But then it would have been skeleton. And I thought, oh, off, on it, I'll go for that and let's just see. Because if well, I'm in that wrong go. area, I think I would have been blank, to be I honest. I wish you would have left a little bit of a longer pause just for the audience at home to listen, if, to go, ooh. What is that? Let them think about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Well. But you, you oh, were I, on it straight I, I, away. I'm Maybe s- they were as well. So, well, you know. if you were, congratulations, congratulations, congratulations yeah. everyone. Yeah. In, and in fact, not congratulations to me. Yeah. Because I've obviously picked a really weak um, yeah. riddle. We, uh, well, it wasn't weak. It was good. But right, all right. Well, the well, thing yeah, that gave yeah, it yeah, away was time. what we were talking about today. So okay. that's what right, really gave play. it away. So um, we, I'm sorry about last week as well. Talking about yeah. bones. Brittle bones. Oh, brittle bones. So this bones is the syndrome. first time. No, well, I wouldn't say brittle bone syndrome. I'm not like Mr. Glass. Well, yeah, you're not doing it yeah. I'm Like I'm trying to find my, my nemesis. Yeah, don't walk through that door. Well, I, I won't. Well, this is what I won't walk through Asda. Yeah. So oh, basically, yeah, this yeah. is what happened to me last week, and the reason why we didn't have an episode last week. Yeah. And I've never. I've heard of stories. Oh, these stories. Oh, People these always have stories. Oh, everyone does. But I've never actually done it myself right and have you seen getting, anyone else do it and laugh getting, it's like that what's it Eddie Azard where he's like um, oh I've never seen do- I've never seen anyone slip on a banana peel I've never seen documentary footage of anyone yeah. slipping on a banana peel well no I didn't slip on a banana peel but what no. I did do you walking did. around Asda I decided I'll go and get some shopping in so I've got like literally onto the biscuit aisle which is the second aisle I would I have thought, thought the pepper aisle and I went oh I've got a sneeze coming on yeah, it was a smaller Asda. It wasn't the big oh, one. Right, yeah, there wasn't enough. the it wasn't the condiment or pepper aisle or seasonal spices. It was biscuits. So right. biscuits give it your. I started to get a sneeze going, yeah. and then I sneezed, and I threw my back out. Oh. Right, so I had to abandon the shopping. You getting old now, get mate? Get home, and I was wrote off. I was like, uh, if I'm if I'm not able to maneuver or move oh, yeah. by like four o'clock, I'm gonna have to ring you and just cancel the episode. Yeah. So that's yeah. what I did, and I was like, I oh, so I felt so bad, but I, we're back now, we and are. I do apologise. But yeah, I've never I've never actually had it, and you hear people go, oh, it's so easy, you know, you can put your back out, reaching yeah. for a tin of beans yeah. or something. And I mean, I lift a lot of stuff yeah. during the day and for work, and it's like that doesn't affect. And then you know, I have a sneeze. But we've got a story actually coming up in the news because it's well, not yeah. just me. You got to look after your back, people, because like it's so easily, done. E- easily it's hard to get. Sometimes it's hard to get out of it. Yes, it, make sure you check, yeah. make sure you Don't take f- a notice of yeah. your manual, 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 manual handling. handling. Yeah. yeah. See, 
before the show, I was telling him about like you know voice coaching and being able to speak your words. Is that doing all? Blah 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 blah. And then I'm like blah 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 blah. Can't even speak. What the fuck are you on you? And this you're on the mushroom. And this is why we need it. Yeah. This is why I'm here. So right. Anyway. Uh, what have you been up to this week? Uh, me, uh, just working again, really. And uh, yeah, uh, yeah, I saw Manchester too. Mayor uh, last week. Oh, yeah, so you were protected yeah. to protect and serve. Would you take yeah. a bullet for him? Oh, fuck, hell Would no. you take a bullet for Burnham? <laughs> no, no. Well, that's to protect... You're not protecting and serving, man. Honestly, this is the type of gig that could get you, like, you know, like some... Nah, it's all about slapping and moving them out of the way. Men in black you know status. Just slap him out of the way, you get, you know what I mean, and then push him out of the way. Well, I'm not but hiring you. He was doing a bit of a DJ for um, his charity uh, for people on the streets. Yeah, it was kind of a funny subject when we were talking about it um, because he was the one who put him when COVID come in a hotel. Yeah, that's right. And then he was the one who took him out of hotels when COVID threw him back out on the streets. Had gone. Yeah. And I, I, I can see where he's coming from on, like, well, uh, money should, and stuff like that. What they should like have that, done was, while they were in the hotels, is try and house them, you know. Exactly. And that's just one exactly. thing. That's I, just well, one we don't know that they do. haven't done that. I don't know. But a, part of the chari- uh, uh, a lot of the charity was um, to do with uh, getting people off the streets. So, you know, he's, he, he was doing uh, Well, that, I can, that I'm DJ down with. I feel thing, like, what, yeah. so he DJs? Well, he weren't really DJing. All he was was, was he, he just, put a was song on some, and he was some doing shapes. All, get going on and with the crowd. Come on, Manchester and all that. So, so he pressed play on his It was, a, it was a good iPod. gig. Yeah, it was a good gig. Um, but, yeah, uh, shook his hand when he left after after the party. He had a little party afterwards and then it was like, nice one, Andy. So you're like, you like, he's hobbling up the street. Sounds but, good. Yeah, yeah, he had a good time. Everyone else had a good time. and uh, Excellent. Yeah, yeah, yeah Sounds a like a good one. Yeah. Um, you, you've been up to out? I've just been doing you back out. Just working this week again. I've been had a busy one. Um, yeah. So yeah, just it's one of them. Like I say, I think when it, I've been planning on doing some stuff last weekend that I couldn't get round to, so that's why this morning was such an early sort of start yeah. on a day off yeah. just to get bits done because it's like when you when you're grafting, you just haven't got the time, and you no, you know you don't. Free. You don't, and the nights as well, the nights get darker and you just want to get home. home yeah, and I was saying yeah, this because it's like, you know, in the summer months, it's like you could finish work, it's still light, and you're like, well, yeah. it's six o'clock. I could, I could probably do a couple of more hours. Go yeah. and visit a friend, yeah. go for a meal, do this, do that. And I mean, yeah. you can do all those things in the winter, but yeah, yeah, you just yeah. don't feel like you want to. I think sometimes. Because it's, it's, it's too dark. You go into hib- like, hibernation yeah, mode, I think, on, a lot of the yeah. time as well, isn't it? So it um, is, it we is. did get um, our Spotify wrap up. Yes, we did, uh, For yes. this year, but yes. and, um, I'm pleased to announce we're up. We are up. Up on Spotify by 30% Fantastic. this year. Thank you very much. So Thank that means you. there's a few new subscribers there on yeah, Spotify. There is, yeah, uh, So welcome well, aboard, guys. Really very appreciate welcome. Yeah. Um, you subscribing. Yeah. Um, if you're not a subscriber, make sure you come over and subscribe. Yeah, I'm trying to get your friends you in on it as well. And you'll be notified when we release new episodes oh, over yeah. Spotify. You will. Or any of the apps, really. But, yeah, Spotify... Yeah. Um, we got our roundup. Our top five countries. Oh yeah, our um, Germany. Well, you know our top five countries. We've actually um, had downloads in thirty-seven countries this year. Nice. Yeah, and that's nice. literally the whole of Europe. Yeah, yeah, which yeah, is amazing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All of America, Canada, yeah, yeah. Um, Australia. Yeah, um, loving the Aussies. Uh, loads of places. I yeah. mean, where uh, some of the kind of really small countries, I, it amazes me when I go, wow, yeah. has somebody been listening to us in fucking God knows where? Yeah, like, and I, let, I, I asked you as well, uh, check up for Russia and China. We just will, to well, check. actually, it's funny that because we didn't have one from China no. this year. No. Not one, and no, we had not, no, one no, there. One the, no, last actually, year. we I do apologize because that was website analytics. So we was yeah. looking at the website one on that one. Yeah, and yeah. and it was funny because we had a previous year we had someone from China look, yeah. and then this year it's been literally yeah, it dude, dead. Yeah. yeah. Whereas every other country in the in on the, the map, on the planet basically near enough, we yeah. had At some interaction some with yeah. our website, but then. In terms of download analytics, it's uh, boring anyway. Yeah. Uh, but basically, yeah. our top five countries are um, UK, yes, uh, United States, yeah. Canada, yeah. Ireland, yeah. and Australia. Nice. So thank you, yes, everybody, thank wherever you. you listen from. Yeah, thank you. 
I, I love the fact, thing. right, that we are two lads from Manchester. Yeah, yeah. the fucking back end of the northwest. Yeah. yeah, right. Yeah. Where, you know, our voices are heard so far and wide and you guys actually tune in to listen and take notice so really do appreciate it yeah and um, we've got some most definitely just going into the newsy bits just quick before just our news rather yeah. than the news news uh, mm-hmm. but like we have got a christmas episode coming up we are it'll be a freestyle episode Ooh, but yeah. we are fast approaching our 200th episode Ooh, right 200 man we were looking for to do something pretty special so uh yeah. you, that's yeah. another yeah. reason to subscribe to us Ooh, on youtube yeah, yeah. And yeah. we ran a competition to we win a, um, a Never a Straight Answer t-shirt. We're going to be drawing that on the Christmas episode. So if you still want to get an entry in, do it. Uh, send us... Or another one. Or another one. Yeah. Uh, so basically, if we're just asking, if you had a time machine, what would you do with it? Yeah, what would you do? What would, would you, you do? Would where you go would you go? And would you um, change something about yourself? Would you stop a tragedy? Would you... Or would you do nothing? Yeah, maybe. Yeah, you might do nothing. Would you get your almanac... But like you know, like bet on sporting events, oh. that type of thing. We want to know. We yeah, want to hear the your best suggestions, and the winner will win a one of a kind, never a straight answer T-shirt. Yeah. And plus, considering it's going to be the Christmas episode, we do the draw. There might be an extra Christmas present in there. Oh, for you. you lucky! Uh, extra buggers. little incentive to enter the competition. Nice. So you can do that by tweeting us at NASA underscore Never, or going over to Instagram, or just emailing us direct through the website. Whoopee! We're hey indeed. Yay. So, this week's episode, like I say, we're going to be talking Santa Muerta. I like that. It's nice, fun to say. And um, like we say, Santa Muerta, it's an interesting topic because basically it goes by a lot of different names. Um, Like I said there earlier, um, Saint Death or the Holy Death. Um, It's known as the Skinny Lady, the Bony Lady, the White Girl, the White Sister, the Pretty Girl, the Powerful Lady, the Godmother... Um and many more, you know what I mean? Oh yeah, it's, it's, a uh, lot the, more. the skinny woman seems to be one of the the main names for it. Yeah. Um, it's it's gone. I mean, when I was looking into it, mm. you know, I kind of felt like it was a new thing. It's only been going for like you know a couple of decades, and you know people have you know it's only just started to grow a bit. Kind of Scientology. And how you know surprising I mean? were? I know I was really amazed because I mean I've I've looked back and it goes back as far as the Aztecs. Yeah. Um, in terms of like you know ritualistic stuff, um, I mean the stories about ritualistic kind of. Yeah, it was always yeah for the sun and stuff like that, so they can have a good feed in the seasons and stuff. A lot of people who um, you know have kind of switched to this religion um, have come from the Catholic Church. Yeah, which um, is surprising. While millions um, are you know basically cutting ties with the church, basically the Catholic Church, and going into why. this independent religion yeah. that is such a. I mean, it's a religion that boasts that, you know, total equality. So they'll, you know, if you're good, bad, yeah. you know, you're rich, poor, gay, straight, yeah. a, you're a murderer, whatever. Yeah. yeah, right? You're welcome. Yeah, Everyone's welcome. Now, you know, when we start getting into this, I'll, mm. I'll come back to this one because yeah. there is a kind of some little things. And you might come to this conclusion yourself. I don't know. But yeah. like... Um, According to popular belief, San, um, Santa Muerta is a very p- powerful um, figure. Mm-hmm. Um, the it's kind of like like you were saying the Virgin Mary or this depiction. Yeah, it reminds me of, of the Virgin Mary. But it's, do you say that because of the cloaks? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Basically, it's that kind of you know uh, cover like motherhood, like the name of it, uh, motherhood and stuff like that. And that's that's where I suppose if you're in a, a religion. Especially if you're uh, for the church, it, it would be the, the Mary, you know what I mean? Yeah, There's yeah, some yeah. Other... Because the cloaks are actually important in terms of like what, when this, um, so let me just describe this for anybody who doesn't know what's this, this, what we're describing. So yeah. basically, if you can imagine like what we depict in Europe as death, yeah, so this bony figure in a black cloak, the, yeah, yeah, with we, a scythe, yeah, and in our sort of mythology or you know religious icon, uh, icon iconic, yeah, um, it's the death that ferries souls across the river Styx, yeah, yeah, that's right, and funny. it's not necessarily bad, no, yeah, it's but in between, it's, it's the in between, yeah. yeah. So I mean, if you it take you to one side or, or the hell. other, heaven yeah. or hell, right, yeah, yeah. um. This is kind of 
similar in a lot of ways. Uh, but instead of wearing just a black cloak, this is uh, depicted to be wearing like many different colours, sometimes mm. multiple coloured cloaks. Yeah, yeah, right. uh, but all these cloaks have different meanings. So if it's red, um, if it's in a red cloak, it would be romance, uh, romance and love. And love. Yeah. Um, if it was white, it'd be purity. Yeah, uh, virgin, uh, green vir would yeah. be like revenge or retribution yeah. uh, for a, maybe a crime that had been committed against you. Um, black would be um i've got that written down somewhere get bear with me um there is like i say but all these colors uh different things and it depending on what you want yeah yeah because and i suppose on your interpretation as well because some people may think actually red will mean this to me and this will mean this may or well, there's again, a community like, again it's like i, I think it. depending on your culture different colors mean different things but yeah, i mean it's yeah. like um it's really it, interesting to think that these guys um they're in so basically right they're praying to these to this um the, skeleton, the, the skeleton dressed up right? in cloaks and how did it how did it start up because like i know it started quite like i said earlier on like in the with the aztecs, aztecs yeah, yeah. and even further so like the 1500s mm. but it's only just really started getting a more of a following and i feel like it's down to the idea that this god delivers, yeah. Well, it's, when people, it's sounding when like people it. want something from say. this god and they pray to this god, this god's coming with the goods, yeah, man. Yeah, he's got a goodie yeah. bag. And this is kind of what interested me about it because if I, you know, I mean, like if you look at kind of your classic god and your classic devil in mm. Christianity, mm. right? God gives you free will. Yeah, and he says you can believe in me or you don't want to believe in me. Yeah, yeah that's up to you, yeah. right? Yeah, but he's never going to try and tempt you to come and join him, right? Because that's your free will, yeah? He's, you know the sketch, you know the boundaries, you know that if, if you do good and you behave yourself, you might come to heaven. i got a question but that In terms of, like, you know, trying to um, seduce people by going, yeah, man, I can uh, grant all your wishes, I can make your dreams come true, but I, there's one catch. I want your soul at the end of it, yeah? Yeah, yeah. And now... As far as I can read from this, yeah, it, that's what it's suggesting. It's like, oh, yeah, if you can kind of come and light a candle, you can pray to this skeleton and, like, you know, well, um, your dreams will come true, depending on what you dress it in. If you put it in a red cloak and you're bad. looking for yeah. love or per perhaps you're looking for revenge and then yeah. so happens that the, the person you wanted revenge on drops down dead, yeah? It's almost like that's too good to be true. And it's like, well, is that enough to be able to kind of... Is that enough to sell your soul? We've done an episode on uh, selling your soul. Yeah. And that really does sound like the work of, like, the devil to me, yeah? It's like there's no yeah. other deity that's going, well, I can make, I can do what I can for you, you know, like, but there's a catch. Well, well yeah. whatever religion you get into, you're selling your soul to that religion anyway. Yeah, I know, but I understand that. But like I say with, with, right, when you do communion, yeah, then you're selling your soul to God, right? You're basically saying, I'm a bride of God or the son of God yeah. or whatever. Yeah, you're having your communion, you wear your little white dress. Yeah. You have your, um, your christening. Yeah, 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 yeah. And all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? That is you kind of like you know saying accepting, accepting signing all the contracts si signing up yeah, yeah basically right yeah. but there's no sort of other than that there's nobody going well you know um well let's do a deal there's nobody if you pray to yeah, god but if you pray to god it stands to reason that yeah well like i'm praying to you because i've already committed my soul to you yeah right but I then mean, in that sneaky in mind, way. Bearing in mind, I'm not religious. No, but he's already laying it on the car, on the table. He's saying, look, right, if um, if you do as I'm asking and you be a good person and you take God into my, your hearts, yeah. right, there's paradise that awaits you, yeah. right, yeah? Satan or Lucifer or whoever, the it's devil... telling you directly, just yeah, give well, me no, your soul no, and I'll give you what you want. He's not telling you nothing. Well, I mean, at the end of the presume. day, yeah... As far as I know, I don't understand where what where your soul goes after in this Nothing particular Santa does. Muerta. Yeah, you know what I mean. In terms of this Mexican um, belief yeah. that if this kind of entity is or this saint or the de saint of death or whatever is turning around and saying, right, well, I can grant your your dreams, make your dreams come true, and give you everything you want, mm. but I'm taking your soul. 
at least with like you know the god option you you kind of have an idea where your soul's going and it don't sound half bad but yeah if you get it right i mean something so personal and to if you it is right and so you un- so unique to you yeah would you want a kind of kind of maybe lose that just to kind of uh yeah but we've been we're all i mean we've, done, a we've promise. talked about this in the, in the but we don't know episodes, if it's going to be able know. to be delivered. We've all been putting the promise, but like this, uh, this, this, this kind of um, it, well, they're trying to make it uh, into a saint, but the church uh, uh, will never put her as a saint, basically. But if um, I, I reckon a lot of reasons why people from uh, the, uh, the religions are going to him because you don't really have to do much apart from. Light a candle whenever you need something. Well, no, devotees, they, they, what they, you want. they basically, yeah, present her with um, a, so a polychrome seven-colour candle. Yeah. Um, with chestnuts. Um, they believe that, you know, basically, like you say, if you they light the candle um, and... Yeah, you do of, your wish, that's it, you walk away. Well, if that's it comes what I'm true, saying, though. I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't. it's like, again, I'm not a religious person, right? But he'd been yeah. betting on Jesus for so, a long, long time, yeah, God, for a long, long time, and he hasn't about delivered. Jesus, though, yeah, right? For, I, like, I, I think this is a good kind of analogy of it. Do you remember that story where Jesus is in the desert and Satan's like, all right, mate, I can get you out of this yeah, yeah. if you want. Yeah. And he's like, no, I'm all right. And he's like, oh, you must be first, Ed. Do you want a glass of water? And he's like, no, I'm all right. I'll yeah, get yeah. out of it myself. And he's yeah. like, trying to tempt him. All yeah, the way temptation. through, yeah. and he eventually he makes that. it himself and gets out of there. And do you know what I mean? It, yeah. If you want to believe the story or not, but like basically, that's how it sounds. And the idea of celebrating death, as mm. in celebrating your departed, yeah, is what a lot of cultures do. We do yeah, it in yeah. wakes, yeah, yeah. and you know we have a drink to remember the dead. And yeah, it's yeah. like it's Pour a, bit a great cup. thing. I think like you know the when I first heard about the Day of the Dead celebrations in Mexico, yeah. I thought that was such a great, yeah, it's vibrant a good concept. concept. Do, yeah. It's yeah. such a, a great idea to honour those people who have died. Yeah, um, totally. But on, in terms of like, you know, um, and I feel like I'm being really negative towards this. Yeah, right. But like when I think of, you know, um, you know, in terms of death, yeah, and this skeleton, skele- skeleton that they're kind of um, praying to. Mm. It's like that's a that's a life lived. It's not. It's it's had its life, and now it's de- it's just decomposed and bones. It's got no more life to live. Yeah. So you can. I wish that they would like you know carry on with that celebration of the person who it used to be, but. It, well, it's an object with no face, if you think about it. Well, that, but it is. Well, I mean, is it is it just a plastic skeleton, or is it the remains of a real person, or is this just a depiction of the remains of a real person? But, yeah, didn't you uh, find something on well, that? Well, they said that it could have been, um, like, they could have tracked the origin back down to, um, let me see. Some female, because it... it, it I mean, this comeback, um, it went dead for a long uh, a long time hidden, uh, but then in the 40s, there was a uh, gang fighting going around and some uh, lady lost her son. Yeah, so they basically, she... um, yeah, Don- Donna Bella uh, Sebastian. Yeah. Um, but she was the niece of, um, a no- a, like, a Mexican pre- uh, princess or something like that, yeah. Oh, so, right, so she was sort of, like, in the royal area. Then. Yeah, so, but, like, when she died, it, it, it was supposedly be the original skeleton that was um, prayed to. Right. But it's funny because, say, like, um, a lot of these kind of gangs started getting on it and yeah. using it as a, a well, the, it's non-judging. It, if you can be a murderer it's and more still known kind of, gangs. like, be protected by this um this saint if yeah, you like yeah. yeah and it's known for gangs like you say yeah. so if say it, like say you're there and you you've, your kid's gone out and your kid's been killed in a gang related incident yeah like what happened then, to like, this which, woman what happened yeah. to this woman and then she's put come her, out come and out, put, put her um, out on the front out on and the let lawn. everyone know everybody's you know kind of surround yeah. it but everyone's praying to it she's praying to it because she wants justice yeah right then, unrelated, this gang or, you know, these... Oh, this it's gone gang off and done gone something off and killed, uh, reacted to that. Yeah. You could say that Most they the were acting 
I'm ranting religiously because you know they life she demands she life. demands justice, so I'm going yeah. out to get her justice. Yeah, I mean she's going to turn around and feel like she's got it because she asked for well, it. Well, yeah, yeah, eventually, yeah. Do you know she what I mean? Did, yeah. So it's like she got what she wanted. So it brought it out more uh, then, and then it started building up again, and then as like uh, uh, if too many people will get into it so, the authorities can't take control uh, what would you do if like you had um uh, if god or your whoever you prayed to answered all your prayers and was able to go yep yeah, that's no problem would you get greedy with it would you start kind of relying on it well no because what, what would happen put it down if to it the probability didn't, well what would happen if it didn't pay out for you well yeah well like i was discussing with you before i would put down Right, there are a few things that I want happening. Right, the probability that this one, uh, number one item could happen, like 50%, then I'm more chance I'm going to pray for that because there's a better chance outlet than number seven. Uh, uh, like, it's 0.0%. I'm never going to get this. If I get this, it's like one in at like a trillion, you know what I mean? So I'm more likely to put my uh, um, um, thing on to number one because... That's got better odds. So I think that's going to go through instead of the others. Okay. You know what I mean? But if it does deliver, yet uh, I've gone to other religions and other places and tried other kind of techniques and they haven't worked, but this one has, then I'm very likely to stay with this one. But don't forget, we've got to give you a certain timeline because if you're the a Christian... better for, than nine out of ten gods. If you've been a Christian for 20 years and then you're going like, you know what, I've asked for this, I've had that, I, I, I've had nothing but bad yeah, luck. But I'm point. going on to something else listen, and you've got another 20 right. years. You this is the point that already. you're abandoning. Well, like I was saying this about like, you you know, you've got like Amish and stuff who you kind yeah. of like go, oh, no, nope, can't do that, that's Satan's work. And then, you know, what happens if there is no afterlife and you've just yeah. committed your whole life to being a boring cunt? Sorry about my language, yeah. but a boring dude. Yeah. But then the chances, they could and be. And there was nothing We're there anyway. 50. We're yeah, on a 50, you know 50 I mean? spin, aren't we, really? I mean, this, I mean, it is, I'm not saying it's, the, I mean, you, we kind of made it out quite, you know, thingy about you light a candle and have a little prayer. But, I mean, yeah, there is a lot more, more to it. it. Yeah, I mean, yeah, the ceremony yeah. takes place in a modest temple. Um, the yeah. Mexican, it's a bit Mexican folks, um, saint of death. Lying houses as well, the temples. And it's in a bit of a rundown area. Um, yeah. And, you know, Needy but it's... Needy people, man. But people are drawn to it. Yeah. So, yeah, hope. you know, obviously, the it's got a reputation is a de- of the deaf culture. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? For criminals yeah. and the drug trafficking trade. Yeah. Um, so, you know, there is a lot of kind of negative... Press, but look at the mafia. It. The mafia was a part of the church. Oh yeah, they you were know proper I mean? religious, and, weren't yeah. they? Yeah, but they they weren't because there's hardline um, religious people, but there are a lot of people who are not hardline and like you know go between the lines and go. Well, I can have, I can have I can have a bacon, but you know well, this is it. The non judgmental these, these are like kind of like yeah, yeah. do what you want. Do what you but want. Yeah. This is what I'm saying. There's only one aspect of like you know light and dark that would be really quite like okay with you know sinning yeah if you're if, yeah. if you're a sinner then in in christianity yeah then you you're, you're being going you're hell, going mate. to hell yeah, yeah right but in this religion then no it's okay to be a sinner you can do what you want you will still look after you it's sort right? of like a passport to it's i like, don't know where i'm going like a loophole if you like you yeah. know what i mean it's like but that's what i'm saying it's like if if you pray to god mm. yeah the idea behind god is like you know he's he's not there to do it for you mm. but he'll try and give you the strength to do it yourself do you know what i mean it like here's a twist in the in, in a twist in, in the tail in, in the tail yeah right what if it actually turns out it's the other way round what if it does turn out to be the other way round that we've been tricked that the actual devil was god and the actual devil was actually the good guy. You know what I mean? That is actually, go, we've been told. Yeah, because like the winners always tell the uh, history. So the losers no, will I, always lose their like history say, and lose I the truth. I feel like anything that's and offering like, you an easy option is probably too good to be true. And I think like, well, um, I mean, I'm not, I mean, to be honest, it's like, I feel like most religion, mm. although it gives you hope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, yeah. and you know, it's, it's a, a... Two things for me, hope and war. Well, That's it. They're, yeah, they're the I only mean, two things, that, but, good and bad. You know, I mean, if 
everyone's not right. Everyone's got their own yeah. opinions about things. You yeah, should right. live how they want to live. Live how you want to yeah. live and just take kind of key bits from it. Do you know, mm -hmm. like, you know what's what's uh, the right thing to do and what's the wrong thing yeah, to do. Yeah, have some good morals um, and just, you know, get along with life. I don't see any harm in this. I just feel like it's kind of like a bit strange that it offers, like, you know, this easy sort of like prayer prayer romantic well it's helping of, him yeah I mean, the, great. The, this is the thing but, if it's helping him and it's getting him through all the shit that's going through you know what i mean then then all, all power to you but like if it's if in the long run it's not and walk away, yeah, work it out, and walk away from it. Well, it's you know actually I mean? becoming one of the fastest growing it religions is. in um, the in the Americas, with um, an estimated ten to twelve million followers worldwide. Yeah, um, it's Man. like I say, it's an interesting one. I mean, I've got some more facts about it here, actually. So, like um, looking into it, we were talking about the criminal aspect of it. Yeah. So, like, there is sort of a, cr a criminal aspect where I think that's the advertising, though. You know what I mean? That's that's a part of the advertising for them as a, a as a, a group because they've uh, because a lot of people uh, in Mexico have got that religion well we're going to use that religion and well, if yeah, I use it and you believe in it then you're got, not going to go against me because you know what I, I'm asking for and I can ask for worse things than what you want well you they could I mean? ask as well they so could, isn't it like some nuclear it's a fear thing as well. sort of thing it's a control I, mean, I, I see it more as like well you know I'm compelled to do this murder because um, you know it's it's it's, gonna it's, it's ordained go to by God if you like do you know what I mean I'm I'm, I'm schmiting like doing the God's work if you like well well yeah, well, yeah I suppose it depends which side of the, the barrel you're on you know like one man terrorist is another man's um, like um, um, freedom fighter. Well, it says here that, like the Santa Muerta imagery is almost designed to both um, intimidate yeah. and be fit uh, and provoke fearlessness. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? So, you know, Control or not. when do you know? Did you see Suicide Squad? Yeah. And how um, one of the characters who was like kind of thingy with flames. Oh, yeah, yeah, and yeah. He yeah, was Mexican, kind of yeah. He, the Mexican chap and yeah. he was like tattooed. Yeah. That's kind of like the, the almost like a, skull, a Day of the Dead skull sort of mask. But yeah. now I wouldn't contribute it, attribute it to the Day of the Dead as such more to this because. Oh, yeah, I, um, I'll in interpret it of, different now because well, yeah, I've learned exactly. it and, and I've of, often wondered what those sort of tats tattoos in you know when you see like um the mexican prison documentaries yeah, yeah, and yeah, stuff yeah. and there's a lot of those tattoos and yeah. it does kind of bring in bring, now yeah yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. What, it gives what, you a different um perspective of what you first thought before you actually looked into it and well, got yeah. oh right actually R ritualistic uh, gang killings have been performed in the deity's name yeah. um so people have obviously been influenced by it and the culture yeah. um but it's also filtered into the criminal uh, gang, Underground, gang yeah. culture yeah. Um, of, of the area. So, yeah, it's interesting. When, oh. Like I say, when we were looking into it originally and it was coming up as, like, you know, people were saying it was a cult. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, with 12 million followers now, yeah, I wouldn't say it was a cult as more of a religion, but, I mean, when it's cult status, I think that's mm. when people are a bit more wary of it. And oh, you should always be wary of what you're getting into. Do you think now it's coming to a point where stuff like that's maybe a bit more macabre, mm. like the idea of like, I mean, there's people who who do worship Satan. It the Satanists, yeah, the yeah. Satanists. Yeah, they yeah, have crosses. satanic Bibles. Yeah. They have you know like their own rituals yeah. that are attri they attribute to their teachings yeah, their or whatever. Meet ups and that. Um, do you think that more and more? that shift is happening in terms of more macabre sort of uh, religions and outlooks of things because like I say and this is one thing that kind of not bugged me but it was like well if you look at light and dark yeah. like good and evil and the sides of the two coin yeah, and all yeah. that you got to yeah. have yin and yang yin and side. yang yeah. right but because I kind of looked into that into this as well, well it's interesting to know that we know what go light is light's life yeah yeah and the death element is is kind of like quite dark, and you think that we attribute that to badness. Badness, but I yeah, mean, it's not necessarily. It, nobody die. I mean, nobody dies and then automatically becomes an evil spirit. Yeah, Do you know what I mean. Yeah, it's yeah. like you might have Mahatma Gandhi. He probably died, and he's a lovely ghost. 
Do you know what I mean? Yeah, if ghost even exists, though there were other stories about him, but well, that's you know day. what I mean. That's for yeah. another day. But what I'm getting at is, good people don't turn into scary ghosts. Yeah, right. As far as we know, as far, as, far as, we know, as we know, yeah, right. we don't really know so, the realms. Yeah, you know, the idea that you know death is evil is yeah. is kind of like not the point, is it? Well, it's not. This right? is yeah. This is like what, I, and uh, that's what I like about the celebration of it. But yeah. also the idea that like it's it's almost too seductive in the sense that it's um, offering too much. Um, for, for little to no cost. Yeah, but if you sell your soul, your soul, yeah, which is a that's lot, all that's a very is, hard expense. That's exactly, yeah. But that's what I'm saying is is the occasional like sort of uh, prayer being granted worth that? And where do you? And this is the question yeah. that I still can't find in the research. If anybody can answer it for me, yeah, and let me know where does your soul go in this in this situation. <laughs> Yeah. I'd love yeah someone no, to answer no, no, that. No, no, ge- no, not generally speaking <laughs> yeah. in this in in this religion in this okay. um you know what do they believe in terms of where you're is you going to a bad place is there good a some place, sort of middle. paradise is yeah. there a, like a middle ground or is there a bad place yeah exactly right yeah because, yeah yeah like I, mean, I say in, yeah, like in Christianity that. we you know God yeah you says, got good and evil you got, got hell yeah that's where you go if you're bad yeah, you've you got get your ass tickled with a feather exactly you got heaven if you're good you'll get to go to heaven and live in paradise yeah Yippee. right C2 but pack a biggie smoking it up. that's what I'm I'm thinking right is there any sort of indication to say where you go or if this a di- totally different place altogether do you know what I mean. Yeah, so could if you be, can answer actually. that, I'd like to hear. Could um, be. So could be, could be where the day, uh, where the, the souls from the uh, day of the dead come from. Maybe you know. Oh, That's, so yeah, um, could be a combination there. So what was it? Um, we've got some more about like you know the colours of the robes and stuff like that. So Would basically, well, I was trying to find this earlier. So the various colours of different uh, have different purposes mm. uh, during prayer. So it's believed that. The goddess can uh, grant favors, yeah. Um, which we were saying, magic wishes. Oh. Um, and basically, if it's in white robes, that's a symbol of um, purity. Yeah. Then you've got um, red robes, which represents either passion or love. Green robes represent justice. There's also amber robes for health and black robes for protection. Yeah. So, yeah. So, depending yeah. on what you want to wish for, you would generally kind of, uh, you know, dress your your um, your deity up in, in whatever you were kind of hoping for yeah. and then kind of uh, put that attention to it. But there's a thing, yeah, right? And I believe this more in life than any deity or any sort of, like, um, higher power, okay. right? And it is... Do you know that sort of American sort of belief that, and I think it's kind of like works in one way, right? That if you want something bad enough, you'll get it, right? Yeah. Mm. And some people go, uh, that's so American because you think you want to get it all handed to you on a plate. Yeah. Well, no, right? I think that if you do want something and you believe it and you want it hard enough, then you will go to every effort, effort to make that happen. Right. Yeah, if you're sitting in your ass, you're yeah. going to make nothing. If, if you're not really 100% behind the something. idea you want to do it, you're not going to do it, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I do believe that is true. Yeah, if this, if you believe it hard enough, then that could possibly happen, right? Possibly. I think that, yeah, yeah, maybe. But, like, at the end of the day, when you think about, like, how many times have you wanted something and it's happened for you and you felt <laughs> mint because you were like, oh, mate, I really wanted that. But on the not other a side, lot, not a lot than I want. I mean, I've had the, the opposite where it's like I've had my hopes up for something and that it's not happened. Oh, yeah, I've yeah. had a lot of them, but yeah. What I'm getting at is these guys could be like, you know, just in, I mean, in terms of cosmic, un, the universe, mm. yeah, maybe it's just the universe. Like you were saying, it's just one of those things, like a percentage of a chance that it was going to happen anyway. Yeah. 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 And that if it helps you that you've attributed that happening. To your I think it'll give you more of a lift because you've put it's like, yes, she did put, it for me. Yeah, that, there's more chance of that happening than any of the other th- things I'm asking for because they're the lower, lower scale. Uh, so the chances of me, uh, me getting the job next week, yeah, because I've gone for the interview. 
You know what I mean? Instead of like uh, the chances of winning the lottery or getting a check through the door for or finding a car with the car keys. You know what I mean? So I think uh, I think a lot of people would go for the easy best option for them. But then religion, it, it, people really don't turn to religion until they're really down. Exactly, that's another thing. Right there, at the right? bottom yeah. end. So when you go to religion, it's like... And religion's and, great for that but, kind of stuff and that. But when's a good opportunity for something, you know, to take advantage of you when you... This is how cults yeah, get you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cults yeah, yeah, get yeah, you yeah. when you're down on your luck, when yeah. you've got nowhere to turn, yeah. and they go, Ooh, come and join us. Yeah, it's like what you were saying about Jesus and... Uh, uh, yeah, it's uh, walking through in the, the desert. desert. I yeah. mean, like, but yeah, I mean, you, if you're at your lowest, yeah, right, yeah. you're more inclined to take that favour. Yeah, right. Yeah, and you're more likely to believe. It's and like, slip on this tracksuit and Well, you'll be doing Kool-Aid. it with faith. And, and totally. you know what I mean? And, and and then the faith catches you and then, you know, it might end up working out for you. Great. But then it might not. But then, like, don't forget, we live through stages as well. You know what I mean? So... Like, say, through the 20s, yeah, I agree with that. And then through the 30s, you're finding out new religions or new things about stuff. And then 40s, so you are, you're constantly changing now, through in and out. Anyway. For the purposes of the show, obviously, playing devil's advocate in yeah. terms of, like, you know, um, the idea behind the, yeah. this. And just kind of trying to explore it because, mm. I mean, like, there is aspects where I find, like, it could be... Sounds very too good to be true, mm, but yeah, basically yeah. this goddess is revered. She's um, you know um, well loved, um, yeah, and yeah. they adorn her with gifts, offerings from alcohol yeah, they, yeah, to sweets. Candy. Always got to give them a, a gift. Yeah, yeah, um, most people give like favorite things, you know, like a beer. Oh yeah, they're deli- yeah. delightful food and drink. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. they give them like um, candies and and beers, like you yeah. say, to worship uh, the holy 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 lady of death. Yeah, um, skinny lady. I mean, like I say, she's very kind of much like the Grim Reaper in in Europe, and how kind of it's presented. But treated like Mary. But yeah, it's exactly. Kind of, I mean, you know it's interesting, mean? isn't it? I it mean, is. it's celebrated. Um, and what more can you say? I feel like it's. Uh, I, there's probably more I can read into this, but we will do at some point. Yeah, um, yeah. If anyone's got any questions, you know, and, and we, you, what certain areas that we may not even have gone into you know then we're, we're willing to have a little look into it and give you some feedback have you found anything else that you want to uh, talk about it um well I, i've got a few things so i have written down here um well, it, uh, loneliness it, is where religion a lot of really uh, a lot of people go to the religion which, uh, which we've uh, counteract now i got a question for you now go for it um what what would you put in place of a religion or a kind kind of a prophet or kind of someone you would go to and um, pray and hope for uh, the future or mm. bad stuff or good stuff? Where would you reckon if religion... If religion was abolished or yeah, it never actually came up, yeah. I'd, it'd have to be just like the universe, the cosmic sort of... If if you if we're here, yeah, yeah, right. So it depends how you look at it, right? So mm. people say there's a creation. We talked about the cosmic egg. We've yeah. talked about like you know God creating us in seven days. Yeah. All the different types of ways that we could have been created. Yeah. The most yeah, scientific yeah. Um, egg explanation for me mm. is basically chaos theory, right? right. And how. We are made basically an accident. We are just happen to be in the right place at the right time in history. Yeah, it's it's wild. I mean, but at the end of the day, is that any more crazier than there's too saying many accidents that on that front? There's um, a big parent figure who's like looking out for us. I mean, maybe there is. I mean, but I'm a seeing is believing type of person, and. If there's anything, like I say, I feel like it's cosmic energy. It's it's basically. Um, it, not what so much as destiny, mm. yeah, but more that if you kind of work towards something, it'll happen for you. If you kind of and the the universe has a way of basically pushing you in the direction you're supposed to be going in. Do you know what I mean? Like it's not. Yeah, I understand and that. that part, call yeah. that God, call that whatever you want. But I feel like some, some in it. terms of like how 
the universe got its start. I feel like it was just a kind of a cosmic bubble up of chemicals and we're just an accident. And we're in just the an flow. accident in the flow, yeah. And I feel like, you know, when people say about, oh man, we're, we're traveling around, we're hurtling on a rock through the universe, and that's not even the start of it, and it, you can't get your head around it. I mean, it's it's too much to comprehend at the best of times, and I think having some sort of like figure like a god is the easy option because you can say, oh, well, anything you can't explain, you can say God did it, yeah? yeah. Whereas, you know, scientifically speaking, there's got to be more of an answer. There's got to be more of a complex answer, and you might not understand it, but... Yeah, it's a singularity. And it's but singularity, by, by really. starting to try to understand it, yeah. future generations will build upon that, and eventually we might understand it. Do you know what I mean? And it's like, we won't. We'll never get anywhere nah, near nah, it. No chance, but, yeah. but by never starting that process... Never asking yeah, the question, By never, never asking an the question, yeah. you'll never get the answer. And that yeah. t- goes back as far as, like, Galileo yeah, yeah, yeah. looking up at the stars. And from his work... Mm. Have you ever heard the expression stand- standing on the shoulders of giants? Yeah, yeah. And that's exactly what that means. And I feel yeah. like, you know, um, w- until, you know, we kind of get that scientific answer... We'll always look to still asking that we'll, question. We'll always yeah. look to different possibilities of oh, yeah. gods, the universe. Is it magic? Is it science? Is it is it this, that, or the other? And up until that point, who knows? You know, it's all speculation, and it's whatever helps you sleep at night, really, isn't it? Well, true. I mean, I think religion is there for a uh, uh, another. Another species that came here and they used that as a rule, uh, as a, a, a power tool for uh, control. Yeah. But then lost it and then other religions come out, so you've got a certain controls. It's funny, though, what people will attribute and what helps them. So, like, it, um, yeah. just in, out of in, a, a little interesting nugget about um, this Santa Muerta. Yeah. Um, I'm, I might be saying that wrong, so if I have been saying it wrong all the way through, yeah, do apologize. Boy. Um, but there was playing cards and candles circulating in Mexico with the idea that they could protect you against COVID-19. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I think there has been a uh, number of religions that have put, like, kind of stuff like that. But, um, and and it was it was strongly formed there. Well, they say, apparently, we consider death as doctor in these turbulent times. Oh. Um, so we pro- um, provide that um, the folk saint of death um, is not solely a, a narco um, saint. Yeah, well... So they think that by circulating these sort of, like, you know, like Cards, effigies gifts. and gifts, yeah, that they, they were going to be May protected. help them out and that. Death will yeah. protect them. Well, yeah, just don't take or, the needle. You know, like death, death's the doctor. It's curing them. Well, yeah. Well, to be honest, look at doctors. Doctors were the person we could. Them and priests were the ones that we could go to and trust. Do you think the years ago and he's totally the, um, turning the opposite now? This sort of depiction of death in this cloaked figure came comes from like the Black Plague and the Black Death because obviously you had the plague doctors. Who, yeah, but that was thirteen, wasn't it? 13, I mean, the I, I mean, well, it probably goes back further than that. Yeah. Um, I feel like that they've probably took a bit of style from them. Um, interestingly enough, talking about those plague doctors, yeah, um, yeah, the one with those, the beaks, yeah, with the beaks. Those yeah. suits actually um, didn't do all that much no. in terms of no. protecting them from the black pl- yeah. plague. Just like the needle. The only thing it did do, I mean, it did. They were effective, but do you know why they were? Because of the beak. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah because yeah. it helped to maintain a social distance. Ah, right? yeah, yeah. So, in terms of whenever they sneeze or whatever, and usually they're just poking with a cane anyway, you know, if they had to touch them. Yeah. But it meant that, like, they were always, like, at least a, a beak away yeah, from at the least patient. Yeah, away from Pretty them, yeah. interesting. Yeah, yeah, um, right. So, yeah. Um, that's it for this uh, for this topic. I feel um, if you've got anything no, to yeah. add, I mean, I, d- I don't want to say that I've been down on it. I do feel no, like no, you no, know no, um, no. I was trying to so, cover both sides of the story. Yeah, or both Devil's sides. Of the, the, the devil is definitely in yeah, the detail in, in this one. Oh. Um, oh, well, oh, that's questionable. That questionable yeah, yeah, potentially. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, it does sound. I mean, like I say, I've. I feel so like you would you come, state that it. it it's more on the evil side than the good side, then. No, I, I'd say that it's it's 
it's got kind of a bit of a, a, a stigma in terms of like the criminality and that sort yeah, of yeah, area. Yeah, yeah. He can't murder people and then say, oh, it was all right because I was doing it because of the, for the, 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 for the scene. Yeah. yeah. Like, um, I feel profit. like potentially, maybe, yeah, right, the idea of um, getting everything you wanted just by lighting a candle is a bit too good to be true. And I'd yeah. question, yeah, yeah. being a non-religious person, yeah. whether that was me being played by an alternative side, yeah, to the good, mm. bad conundrum. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, you know, I mean, I'm just a kind of a, like a, a quizzical guy when it comes to religion. It's like, wait a minute, are the Answer priests... the questions. Do I have to him. do carol singing? Yeah, yeah. Shit like that, do you know what I mean? It's like you've got... to be the father on my own. Yeah, so, yeah, um, I, <laughs> you know, you need to ask these questions. Indeed. I mean, I, I'd like to understand this more. I'm really interested in the, the Mexican Day of the Dead celebrations, and I love yeah. the idea that that's, that's a thing, and they celebrate the, the people who they, they've lost, you know what I mean? Yeah. But I feel like... That's not the same, do you know what I mean? As as this, yeah, it's a a, a, a little part of it. It's a little part yeah. of it. Yeah. yeah. So if you've got yeah. anything you'd like to elaborate or help us out, come and come and have yeah. a chat with us. If you actually celebrate it, come yeah, and yeah, come yeah, and have yeah. a little chat, and we can maybe do a little interview with you. Yeah, we'll have a little talk with someone from Mexico. Coolio. Love that. Yeah, that'd right. be great. Oh, well, moving on. Yeah. Yes. Well, thank you. yeah, well, that was interesting, that topic. Yeah. I think um, we've got plenty to be getting on with, though, so mm-hmm. I think we should be moving on. I but like think. I say, if you do have any, uh, you know, comments about tonight's episode... Yeah, tell us. Feel free to email us at neverstraightanswer at gmail.com. I do worry that people put the A in, and then we're not getting their emails. But Ooh. it's never straight answer. Yeah, forget the A. Or, to make things easier, go to the website at neverastraightanswer.co.uk. Perfect. And there's a, um, a contact us page there yeah. where you can just send us an email. It's super efficient and dead easy. It is indeed. All day. Well, we've got some news. Oh, news. Oh, news. Right. Should we start? Well, we'll start with the normal news. Mm. Right. Yeah. And then we'll go into a bit of Kanye news. And then we'll go into NASA news. How's that sound? It, it sounds... Kaya, uh, Kanye, fantastic. Sound ye. Um, yeah, well, ye. well, without further ado, or West. It's the news. <laughs> and <laughs> what a week it's been. It's been newstastic this week. There's been so much going on. And I'm going to start the news yeah. with a story we covered. And this is a kind of follow up. And it's a Michigan man who has been uh, found guilty of cannibalism. Oh, yeah. Right. Um, this is the guy who uh, murdered a man called Kevin Bacon. Oh, this is the guy who got strung up, didn't he? Like yes, a pig. he was. He was like bacon. Yeah, he yeah. wasn't the. Ke- it wasn't the Kevin Bacon. No, 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 no. Who no, um, has no. just been he appearing been caught, yeah. on EE commercials and the Guardians Go of the deep. Galaxy movie? Yeah. Um, no, but this is a guy called Kevin Bacon that he met on Grinder, the dating app. Um, he was fifty-three. From Michigan, he'd previously um, admitted to killing the 25-year-old Kevin Bacon and eating parts of his body. So he shouldn't have killed him first. If he didn't kill him, he could have got away with it. It's weird, isn't it? I mean, why would you? What, what, what is it about cannibalism that makes you think? Do you know what? I fancy a bit of bacon. Hey, ask the Pope. Why? why Pope's the Pope? been on about it. Yeah, the Pope. The Pope? Been, Pope was on about it. A uh, days about, like chicken. About two months ago, he what was, was he saying? About, uh, that. Um, uh, uh, Possibly more cannibalism will be happening. And what, because of, like, cost of living? <laughs> yeah, probably. Maybe. Yeah. Um, he had he previously did admit the killing, so it's not like it was a trial where he was, you know, they had to prove anything. Yeah, Do you know yeah. what I mean? He was very Cheap open and cheerful about trial. it. Um, but, yeah, I mean, the uh, the court date went for two days, uh, the hearing it's even. Quick. And, um, well, this is what I'm saying, because he yeah. pleaded guilty, so it wasn't like he, he needed charges. to, um, you know, prove it or anything. Yeah, yeah, so. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So it was a design death. He knew exactly what was happening, and um, obviously he's been um, sentenced. So he's been a knob. <laughs> yeah. That's what he's been. Um, so Mr. Bacon was last seen on Christmas Eve when he told his roommate he was leaving to meet a man he contacted on Grinder. Um, his friends and family reported him missing on Christmas Day. Yeah. So it's been a year. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. like I say, I remember us covering this uh, story. 
But um, obviously, hopefully, the family can get a bit of closure. Yeah. Um, talking about the closure, though. Yeah. Um, I, I, th- you might have seen this in the in the news this week about uh, the biker yeah, who was yeah, killed on a country was, road was say, yeah. by a U.S. diplomat's wife. Yes. Right. And, and I mean, this thundered. has been going on for a while. Is it like 2013? Wasn't it? Or yeah, something like it's, that. 2013, 2015, long somewhere time. long ago. Oh, yeah. 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 Um, she, she's what, what I mean, it's gone through court now. I mean, the parents are saying that they've had closure, but at the end of the day, they, they're not really, have they? Well, let, right, well, uh, I, I, I think we should go through a little bit of the story first. As go she for it, left, yeah. She left somewhere and went and drove on the wrong side of the road. The lad was coming on the right side of the road and she uh, colliz- collision had with a him. collision, yeah. Yeah, and then absconded. Yeah, so she's basically said that she had dip- like diplomatic immunity yeah. and was able to get out of the country. Yeah. But then when we tried to get her back, extradite yeah, her back into the none UK, none of it, none um, of it. Yeah, there was no way we could get her over it. Yeah. Um. So it's gone on for so long, wow. and the fact that what was the sentence? Right. Well, the judge said that uh, minimum. This is minimum for her sentence. It should be uh, 15 months in prison. Um, but then she got, um, what was it? Uh, it was like an eight, eight months, months suspended suspension sentence. For 12, uh, 12 months suspended sentence for eight months. Right, okay. So if she, be, if so she behaves she's herself for eight months, under. she'll... She 12 won't. months. Does she have to do yeah. any jail cert time? No, uh, 12 months, she's, she's clean. Then uh, she's okay. If she isn't, then she gets sentenced, whatever she gets sentenced, plus the eight months on top of it. Well. Ah, right. So she could if she doesn't. Yeah, if she does something wrong. Yeah, now but I, I think she's I leaving think the she's country, probably, so. Yeah. To be honest, well, she I didn't feel even come like in she, the country. She's, um, it, w- it might have been an accident, yeah. but she dealt with it totally the wrong way. Yeah. Yeah, by absconding from the scene. Yeah. Um, I feel like. Although she's, you know, got a criminal record, mm. I feel like she's been, she got away with it quite ha- um, scot free. Right. To be yeah, honest, to be know? honest, yeah, I think she should have got a. a it seems a like bit it's like, oh, well, we just need to give her like a slap on the wrist, just so, so we can be seen to be doing something. It just proves something that I've been talking about uh, a couple of years ago about how, right, if you hit and run. Yeah, like no, you've no. You've got less of a sentence 100%. than if you hit and stay. Actually, was talking to a taxi driver about this, right? And he's he bang and out he's, of order. he reckons, yeah, if and I mean we've done an episode about how to get away with murder. Yeah. Yeah, and yeah. he reckons that if you wanted to kill us, kill, murder somebody, yeah. run them over. Yeah. Yeah, because and just go, "Oh shit, it was an accident," and you'll and get a 500 off. quid fine. Yeah. Yeah, right. And that'll be it basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, not to say do that. That's not a good idea. But if you kill him, but you know that, that's basically the law as it stands, mm-hmm. and it fucking should be changed. To yeah, be yeah, honest, yeah, because yeah. if you hit somebody, unless you can prove without a shadow of a doubt it was an accident, yeah, I'd, it depends on your, your insurance coverage as well. well as for the, there's definitely some sort of you need some sort of heavy clause on your account. Yeah. Do you know what well, I mean? this is how much they don't want to change it. Yeah, I, I a couple of years ago I was done for speeding. Um, I did a course, went on the course, and I actually questioned the course person about this. I went, look, if I if I hit someone and uh, absconder, I've got less of a charge than if I hit him and stay and look after the person and help him out. He turned round and he didn't want any bar of it. Any bar of it. He didn't even want to uh, uh, even go near the question because he's going, oh, well, that's stupid and that. And I said to him, well, have a look in the law books. The law books state that's what happened. And there's plenty of people on the... I don't know. I mean, I know that if you did hit somebody and it was an accident, you're not going to get, like, you know, life and, or, you know, well, uh, you the chair. You get less of a sentence if you absconder. And it's a stupid fucking I, I law. Ca- I can't understand why that would be the case, because obviously mm. if you abscond, then you've, you've fucking done something pretty bad, haven't you? Yeah. You've, you've kind of left the scene. Yeah. You tried should, to get yeah. away with it. You've run, basically. You've run away. A person could, have, could need an ambulance, but then again, it's going to take like fucking 24 hours for that cunt to turn up. Yeah, that's true. At the moment, you know what I mean? Well, there but, you go. Yeah, it's one of them things, and it? Uh, so, uh, they're, they're looking at changing it, but they keep hiding, moving it away. I don't know why. Like, Yeah. It's, um, are people doing weird stuff? Um, <laughs> yeah, it's a weird pe- world. Have you though. got any news? Uh, yep. Um, England knocked out. <laughs> yeah, yes, yeah. Like just like I mean, Germany, I'm not laughing. Brazil. Yeah, I'm not laughing. I just kind of knew that France were a tough team to play, right? Yeah. And I'll be honest with you, I've kind of had like a good call on most of the games 
You uh, called this, did you? Yeah, I kind of. Uh, well, I kind of had a feeling. I wanted England you to win, but bastard. I had a feeling that you France bastard. were going to take it. Um, they were a country. good team. They were a good team. Um, not that. Yeah, you know, it, it was just. It, well, I didn't get to watch the match really because I was going to pick you up. Well, I didn't really, and I was waiting for you, like. Well, because he was an hour late and said he was going to arrive. So anyway, oh, it was about half an hour. Um, if I'd say forty minutes. Um, oh, well, right, talking about different. football, Morocco. Yes, Morocco yes. Are, do, are doing really well, but Excellent. somebody needs to tell the Moroccans, yeah, and crochet, right, that you don't riot if you win a match. Yeah, you riot. They're riot in their country. They, have they? No, they don't riot in their own country. Oh, everywhere. Yeah. Else. So basically, the day after we got back from Amsterdam yeah. last week, right. Um, Morocco was playing, um, I think it was um, Belgium, right? Oh, yeah, and they knocked them out, yeah. They, yeah, they knocked them out. And then the Moroccans rioted in Amsterdam, right? Not Belgium and not in, in uh, Morocco, just yeah. but like they rioted in Amsterdam, right? And it was a celebration, but it was like ended up with cars being burnt out and stuff like that. The next game, yeah, they were massive. It took over Rush Home in Manchester, yeah, oh, and they've just done the same again today. I mean, it's basically a big celebration, but I don't know why it turned into a bit of a riot. But basically, like, apparently there's a big Moroccan follow, a big Moroccan culture in Amsterdam because yeah. in the seventies they were like, well, we need people to work and let people kind of come and live there to work there. Yeah, yeah? and a lot of Moro- the Moroccan, um, you know, people came and took advantage of that. Mm-hmm. So now there's a big sort of culture over there, yeah. and you know, obviously when they played, that's they hit the streets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Bit of an upset for um, you know um, Belgium. But yeah, well, one of the, one of the favorites. first game that they played uh, was Spain, and they won on penalties three nil. And then, like you said, um, the uh, they had Portugal, and then knocked some one because it's a surprise. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And it's um, maybe maybe they're one to watch for this uh, tournament. But it, even Brazil like got knocked out. Brazil got knocked out, man. You know what I mean? Yeah, I mean by this Croatia. Is it. By Croatia, I called that one as well. But that, you got Argentina next, also. Ooh. We'll have to see what happens. Um, got um, France, it's a shame so. that England are out, but I mean, like, it's one it of those. Like, we always seem to get to this sort of stage, <laughs> yeah, um, and, and then. then I think there's a lot of people who think there's a a vendetta against England. And it's the first um, African country that uh, actually has gone this far. So, you know what? I'd like to see him get to the final. Actually, I would like to see them and Croatia get to the final. That would be a really, really good, interesting match. Yeah. Yeah. Well... Though. Let's see what There you go. There's though. your football. Yeah. Um, I've got this story about... Right, so all right then, yeah. You're in a hospital. Yeah. Yeah, right. And you're um, you're, you're in a, a ward, so there's other patients around you. Yeah. Yeah, you've got to be kind of, uh, you know, thinking what? to their needs as well as your own. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. right. Yeah. Well, this is a story about a woman um, who has basically been arrested Ooh. because she switched off a neighbour's noisy oxygen machine. No. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, I mean... The killer. Well, I'm not sure. Well, a hospital patient has been arrested after she allegedly twice switched off the oxygen <gasps> equipment, um, which a fellow patient was depending on oh, because of, shit. like, you know, they, they needed, needed to oxygen. breathe. Yeah. Um, um, but no, it was too noisy. This was um, a German hospital. So the public uh, prosecution office of the southwest German city of um, Manchum um, basically um, off, um, obtained a warrant for the 72-year-old woman's arrest. So if, I'm having a sick of this. Fucking, <laughs> Your fucking yeah. no, oxygen machine's too Told nice. You, I'm fucking doing something She now. didn't just turn it off once. But twice. Twice. Yeah. That's, so that's uh, she was, murder she was later, later um, admitted to... Um, a, what is it? A correctional facility. I was going to say, yeah, psycho ward. Yeah, the police headquarters and public prosecution office is? has <laughs> um, made said in a statement. So yeah, she's been incarcerated. I'm not surprised. You can't go around turning off life li- life depending machines. Yeah. Not even the one that goes bing. Oh, she's a lucky girl. That is she very is lucky. A lucky girl. Um, Anything else you want to talk about? I've got some... Oh, um, yes. I've got a, go on, then. I've got a weird one, actually. Oh, I love weird ones. Right, well... Weirder it, the better. Oh, yeah, this is uh, uh, weird, all right. Right, well... Like Weird Al. Weird Al, ooh, yeah. Um, there's uh, 
in China, there's um, there's like thirty. Let's have a look. Thirty. My next story is about pens. China. Yeah. Like for, if they've got thirty five pens, pens between. Well, I thought you were going to say they've got thirty five pens between them. No. I was no, going to no, say no, no, you no. fucking hell. No wonder they depend so much on like you know your keyboards, your oh, economical yeah. keyboards. I'm not surprised. It's like most, most they pens crave are a biro. They've never seen a fountain pen. They wouldn't know what to do with it. They'd be like, what's this little ink cartridge? For a dartboard, isn't it? Bang. So, yeah. So, go on. They've got pens of sheep. They've got pens of sheep in uh, a part of China. And um, in one of these pens, pen 13, um, with about 30, uh, 30 sheep in there. Now, they started walking around in a circle. Not for 12 minutes. Not for 12 hours, but for 12 days straight. Not even in resting? Perf- not resting in a perfect circle. And have they worked out why? They can't, no. Right, look, it's, it's weird as fuck, mate. I know why. Clockwise as well. I know why. Why? I can tell you why. Why? And where was it? In China. China, yeah, yeah. So, right. So, left. I'm I'm gonna go and say yeah. uh, they've just been uh, re-switching on the um, hadron Christmas collider. Lights. Oh, now, wow. well, no, no, because they've stopped. No, listen, right? Go they've on. literally they've they, sheep. They, they, they've the literally just been doing experiments with it, right, over the last couple of months, right? China's got one. China has one. Yeah, yeah, right. But guess what? One of the things when they when they did the um, the test, mm. right? Um, they got a side effect. It actually created a hole in our magnetic field. Yeah, 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 right? yeah, yeah, yeah. For for twelve days. Yeah, yeah, right. Which I think it was fourteen days actually. Right. Okay. It it created this hole in the magnetic field, which was allowing a huge amounts of like solar radiation. Yeah, because there was through. a lot of green spotted yeah. above it, which which meant that we had mega auroras. There was like yeah. f- over this last year. Yeah, 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 right. So there's been loads of auroras spotted because we've had weird magnetic field and anomalies. And our magnetic field's been now, shortening. And we shortening. usually get little spots where like our magnetic field will create a little hole mm. or like a little void where this solar um solar radiation can get through which is but, dangerous but a, a 14 day hole right. was like unheard of i'm yeah. not even sure it might have been 14 hours it definitely was in was it in a big area it was huge right and it was like basically they've got like magnetic um readings of how our planet reacts do you know like how yeah. our magnetic field yeah, 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 yeah. usually behaves yeah. and Weakening. With this, with this Strong. big hole in it, it was kind of like behaving really weird, and that's why we ended up with all these new auroras and plenty of them, like especially in like um, you know North America. Yeah. Um, and maybe that's something to do with it. Maybe uh, the idea that they were going round in circles yeah. in a perf- per- for that amount of time yeah. makes you think that you know is this something to do with one wouldn't, one, eat, one, wouldn't sleep anything one theory. From um, came out is that um, the Hadron Collider actually destroyed our universe, yeah, yes. and shifted us into the next one along, yes. and that's why things are slightly different. Yeah, because that uh, what could be caused for the Mandela effect as well. Potentially, anyway. Yeah. So yeah, maybe that's why. I'm, I said I, w- I went in strong with I know that's what 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 this is, but you like, did you were quite? I was quite yeah, like no, quite, I'm a hundred percent on yeah. this, but maybe. I'm Maybe. gonna say, all right. I'll go a hard forty percent on this one. Oh, a hard forty. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, a hard forty. I go not, a hard fifteen. A hard fifteen. That's yeah. that's not that bold. It's, I'm trying it, to be bold. It, yeah, I'm not. <laughs> because I, I, Pirates life for me. I think it's it's possibly something else. Oh, um, what do you think it is? I don't. Uh, it's, it's like uh, standing in the field. Like, what's going on? He's like, all oh, these sheep. These have been walking around in circles for like 40 days. It's amazing. So, well, animals have been playing differently for a while now in different parts of the world. I mean, like in the seas, um, whales beaching themselves and like birds dying out of the sky, fish falling well, that's out prob- of the sky. That's usually because know. it's fucking hot. Yeah, right. <coughs> I think like most birds will fall out of the sky because they're just absolutely shattered because they're f- trying to fly in record necks. record temperatures. Do you know what I mean? Well, yeah, they get break, broken. The broken neck comes afterwards. They, they get the broken neck when they hit the ground. And a shitload you know of I mean? deer, a shitload of deer uh, died. 
Where did that happen? Uh, I think that was uh, well, I mean, in England. Can I say though, since we started this podcast, we've been do we have covered a lot of random animals Animal that have deaths. died yeah. in random ways, yeah, and yeah. we always say, "Oh, we end of days." Yeah, like yeah, um, yeah. Well, we're still waiting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah, like, yeah. It's like, do you remember I'm that? Do you remember? <laughs> do you remember that flock of sheep? Oh, it's not a flock yeah. of sheep. Is it a flock yeah, of sheep? It's a flock, it's a flock of, sheep. of sheep. Yeah, yeah. In, yeah. In they've pen walked 13. around pen 13. For 12 days yeah. straight. I no don't know. Stop, if no you food, know no why, food. if you're an animal specialist, if you're a sheep specialist. Yeah, because yeah. like, yeah, you see. It, it's a, Let it's us know. I mean, have you ever come across one. that before? Uh, talking to China. Mm. Yeah. Um, this is, you know, microchips. Yeah. Oh, There's actually a shortage yeah. in China, right? And this is, if you've been trying to get a, a PlayStation 5, Right, forever. Yeah, because they've been out for like five years or something and people are still tr- struggling yeah. to get them. Um, reason behind that is people bought them out because they wanted to create bit mining, Bitcoin mining farms, right? And they have a, a graphics card in it that's more powerful and helps or there's a processor in it that they can use and strip out, right? There's a new chip though that, um, uh, that they want to put into him, but the American government have turned around and said no. Oh, well, there you go. That's probably why there's yeah. a shortage. So, I mean... And who so, controls a lot of them chips? Well, who? Taiwan. So, it gives more purpose for China to, take to Taiwan, actually yeah, go I there suppose. earlier. So, the there is a store, uh, shortage over there. Yeah, yeah right. Yeah. I mean, I'm not saying that's 100% why, but, I mean, mm. there's, it's also components and precious metals as well. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. it's... it's you know the shortages All around the of world, stuff. We're, yeah, we're having um, very much shortages. Well, this woman, she's just been caught smuggling in a load of semiconductors inside a fake baby bump. Oh, you! I sneaky. mean, is it that bad that they've got a like you know we've got, I mean, like got a load heroin. of she's she's hit up her fucking maplins and yeah. like you know loaded up on a load of solder. Shit for me, for mate. Shit, man, <laughs> right? I'm just like it's like she's got drugs. She's got drugs. No, it's not. It's a fucking it's a resistor chip. What oh, the fuck? All right then. Um, yeah, you're getting even double. You're getting double life sentence. I mean, now. surely they should be going. Come in, come in. We need these. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. How much? How much? How much do you want? Yeah, yeah. yeah I mean, on the but no, no. She was been. Deal. I mean, been arrested. Um, yeah, so Chinese might be a... customs officials arrested a woman last week for attempting to smuggle hundreds of semiconductor chips um, into China um, under a fake pregnancy bump. So uh, border officials said on uh, Tuesday. That the woman was arrested on the 25th of November carrying around 202 processors um, and nine smartphones under a large pregnancy And bump. nine smartphones? Yeah, she was packing. She was lucky that no one rang him. She's got to go got, through yeah, a metal but, detector, though. Do you know what I mean? It's like, yeah, what, who, are you giving, who are you giving birth to? Wolverine? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's like, sound like it. Seriously, it's like fucking mutant, mutant yeah, kid. Yeah, she's, that's a bit... Yeah, but yeah, you know the reason why she's been arrested in that, don't you? Because she didn't do it through the government. They'll and probably seize those. Taking, yeah, They'll seize definitely. them and sell them on. And so, you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Um, well, yeah. there you go. Definitely. Um, right. Well, I think there is... Um, what's it? So, the semiconductor chips have been actually um, in shortage since 2020, mm. when the global security of chips caused by COVID-19 um, supply chains got affected. So, so, that'll be the reason why. Yeah. But they keep saying that. I yeah, think. there's a lot of excuses. They always say, oh, supply chains, supply chains. Yeah. It's like, yeah. well, stop fucking about and then make build your chains, innit? And why weren't Start you prepared for friends. this kind of Start shit? Start shaking hands and doing yeah. deals. Why weren't you prepared for this shit? You had, you've had the money. You've had the money off people for a long, long time. Because we were too busy worrying whether it was a work Yeah, too busy putting it in your own pocket and spending it on your next fucking yacht. Anyway, go for yeah. it. What's your next story? Oh, right. Well, 3,000 police officers... Raided houses in Italy, I believe it was Spain, and Germany. All connected? On Wednesday morning, all connected with... Uh, you, sound like a, you sounded like a police. You sounded like, a, not even like a detective, you sounded like a constable then. It was like, constable on Jersey. Tuesday, four o'clock in yeah. the morning... Well, I think it's a um, go on. It could Carry be on. a massive story. This uh, uh, when we find out more details. But um, yeah, over three thousand uh, police officers raided houses, buildings, and apartments um, because there were a far right group who were looking to overthrow the German government. Oh yeah, I kind of heard about this. Yeah, yeah, and um, 
Yeah, uh, 25 suspects have been arrested. Um, the leader... Talking about a revolution, yeah, you know. One of the leaders um, at 69 uh, was a retired army officer. I thought um, you were going to say something officer, else then. Um, in the special forces called the KSK. Right. Um, uh, for East Germany. And basically what the cause is, is because after the war... Their lands have been taken away, which they owned for over 200 years or something. Um, so they want to get back it Germany seems, the old like way. It seems like everyone's kind of jockeying for land at the moment. I mean, oh, what's the yeah. crack there? Do you know what I mean? This, yeah. is, this, this is, is why, I, this is why I'm anti-border in terms of, like, you know, fucking everybody's fighting. Yeah, but, well, yeah, but then, then if you open up uh, everywhere, then... The, the more popular countries are going to be full faster and all the other countries how do you know what's are not going to be and they're going to need people like we need people a, now. A, a popular country, though, do you know what I mean? It's like if you've got the option to be able to go anywhere, then... Well, if you're living in a place where it's slumber, but you can go somewhere where you can you can build up your... You know, the country's done it right, where you can go to school, learn, build, uh, have a job, build up yourself, you know, pay taxes, have money, have wealth... You know, it, it's like, and everyone goes for that, which most people would do if you're in a, a bad situation. You go for that. I understand that, yeah. But yeah, yeah. then it's going to be overpopulated. There's not going to be enough money. It's not going to be. There's going to be more trouble than yeah, there but, is. Yeah, but worth. You, you're working on the premise that, like, you know, uh, right. So if you've got no borders, world then, standards should have no, been no, roughly no, no. the same. You're operating on the premise that, that a system that works. Is working within borders, yeah. That yeah. people will want to come to, the, yeah. say, the UK because they get a better, they get a, a better shot deal. At life, right? Yeah. yeah. But if there was no borders and everything was run the same, yeah, f- throughout, maybe one world government Illuminati style shit. Well, how yeah? do you stop terrorists? And, oh, uh, oh, because should it be should it be really controversial and say, oh, I think the Illuminati are right. Oh, no. Right? Well, no, but, like, what I'm getting at is, like, if if everybody's being run the same, then everybody in every part of the world, in every country, will have no, those obviously. same opportunities no, to get a s- same shot in life We've is what got I'm getting at. We've got a right as human rights. We have human rights, but all them human rights are not being... Everyone isn't getting them human rights. A lot of people are getting fucked over, and the, uh, the totally. people within I'm, that 100%, country... Yeah. And not sorting it out and basically filling the wrong pockets instead of looking after the people that they've been in charge to yeah, do. Yeah, 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 You know what I mean? So it's... It's, it's, it's all... It, do you know when they say about, like, you know, don't think globally, think locally. It's like, well, that's what happens when well, yeah. you think locally because the local people do, or the local politicians, yeah. like you say, potentially line their pockets yeah. because there's nobody higher. Yeah, do you yeah. know what I mean? No one can anyway. stop him. Um, yeah. Rules get changed, don't they? Indeed they do. Um... So just doing the Beatles then, uh, but QAnon oh, yeah. actually. Yeah. Uh, QAnon followers um, are arguing if um, Beatles, the Beatles were involved in witchcraft mm. and child sacrifice. Mm. I'm not sure about child sacrifice. I but, wouldn't go that far. Well, no. probably, yeah, maybe with the witchcraft. I mean, I know John Lennon was um, big into um, Alistair Crowley. Yeah, and he was big on his mushrooms and LSD and stuff as well. So, well, you know. George was. I think they were yeah. kind of like, um, you know, I don't know. experimental times, I'd Totally, say experimental it. times. Which but, is, I mean, it, it's I feel like, you know, right if, if you're into the teachings of Alistair Crowley, that's something something else. I think Alistair Crowley mm, was yeah. de- on it, definitely like a Satanist and was, yeah. was looking at ways of, do you know, um, Crossing over or opening portals and shit like that. I mean, think, I think we're well, there's a lot, doing, of, a lot of leaders who've tried to do that. We'll be doing an episode on Alistair Crowley. We will. Very, 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 very soon. Maybe even very soon. Even sooner than that. Yeah. But what do you reckon? Do you think, like, I mean, do you think that they were um, devil worshippers? Do you think they did child sacrifice the Beatles? Nah, nah, to be honest, I think they were just, you know, they were enjoying life. They were uh, 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 a couple I of mean, lads going out and, you know, experimenting. There was a lot of mad shit going on with the Beatles. It if was. you want to go back to our very first episode. Oh, yeah. Episode one. Yes. Seems so long ago. It do- yeah, um, it Which was, was yeah. all about Paul McCartney and whether he was, was actually Paul McCartney. I think there's so many kind of conspiracies surrounding the Beatles. Um, <laughs> that yeah, era was conspiracy fucking... I think most of our True. most of our biggest conspiracies come from that era, the sixties, really, don't they? <gasps> oh, 
I'll tell you what. Oh, he's so yeah. excited. Come on, yeah, give, us, give just, us the news. just remembered something. Right, well, you remember um, uh, uh, when President Trump was in office, he said that he was going to open the uh, JFK files. Yeah. Right? Now, he couldn't do it. Um, so now it looks like within the next couple of days, uh, Biden... He's got the free will now. Biden may let out a few more of the files of what's uh, what went on. Um, I'd like Biden to do that. If he could do that, that'd kind of go a long way for his popularity. You know what? I think, uh, yeah, I think he's only doing it for the popularity. He's not doing it for the reason, and it depends on what comes out and how much he's been blacked out. I mean, it could be a lot of stuff that's, you know, like, again, with the UFO sort of um, investigations, where he's just kind of like, um, uh, um, you know, repeating themselves for five pages. Just keeping Um, us silent for another five minutes. Yeah, um, interesting stuff. I feel mm. like we'll, we'll definitely be looking into that. Yeah. Um, I've got this story before we move into ye news. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, yes. This is quite a nice story, actually. 13 strangers who went viral after they rented a van. Oh, right. Yeah, they drove okay. 10 plus hours, so probably 11 hours. Yeah. Um, of, at so. least. At yeah, least. For, um, because their flight was cancelled. And it's happening a lot. There's a lot of kind of... I mean, in Manchester, in England at the moment, there's a couple of um, strike airports that are on strike and it's the um, customs guys that are just like, nah, we're, we're yeah, off yeah. till after Christmas. G4SR now. as well. So they're claiming, nope, we're not coming back till after Christmas. So if you're going to fly and you get delayed, then that's not our problem. Yeah, because yeah. I think the people are trying to bring back the power back to the people instead of... Oh, mate, there's a, lot of run, indu- there's a lot of industrial right. action at the moment. Yeah. And, I mean, I don't disagree with what they're doing because I feel like there's been a lot of um, hard ship over the last couple of years. The pay rises aren't reflecting the cost of living do, um, do when you know it should much, do. Yeah. I mean, we always say, I mean, people go on about minimum wage and stuff and we, we say, why does it always operate on minimum yeah. wage? Where have you never heard of maximum wage? I want maximum wage, please. Yeah. You know, a lot of companies now are actually doing living wage, so well, they're actually putting it. A up living a bit wage more. is decent. It's like, well, we're paying you a couple of quid more than the minimum wage because yeah. we think that's fair, and, and you're we worth think it. that you're worth it. Yeah. yeah, and it gets you a bit more pride in your work, and yeah. you're a bit more hard working and motivated. Yeah, and you can spend, and then you know we can help the economy by you know bringing down our fucking debts. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I've got one more thing about bringing down the uh, debt, but you know Ooh, we'll go yeah. into that another day. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but I thought this was really nice. Uh, story because obviously it was an unlikely group of people who rented a van and drove for, uh, for more than 10 hours Did they get a good uh, deal? from Orlando, Florida to Knoxville, Tennessee. Oh, right. So, I mean, uh, he, these guys must have obviously got a bit of a, a bond together. Uh, sounds like the beginning of a... Of a Smoking a, relationship. Of a mover. <laughs> uh, the flight the got cancelled and left the passengers stand, uh, stranded in um, um, Orlando. Yeah. But this uh, ragtag group of 13 people came together... Hey, good on him. Uh, this will yeah. be a movie by the next year. Oh, yeah. It'll yeah, be yeah. like a new Christmas movie where it'll be like. Yeah, yeah. The race is on. We need to get home for Christmas. Where are we going? Knoxville. At least we still got that. And then we'll have a cameo from Johnny Knoxville. He'll be the bus driver. There you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Johnny Knoxville's the bus driver. Um, they'll be like, I don't know. Um, Who else could be in there? I bet Melissa McCarthy will be in it. Um, few other people like that yeah yeah well i i, I like it the, the social uh, uh aspect of strangers meeting together joining together to actually go on a little journey yeah it's beautiful i mean you don't hear a lot of that but it must happen like you know quite often it's a christmas it's a christmas it's a miracle christmas. it is it, it does is. remind me of that home alone scenes you know when she's like yeah. trying to get home <laughs> and she gets in with john candy and like the the <coughs> polka the, the polka boys yeah or whatever they're called yeah, yeah. Um, Straight so, away when you said it, I thought of that. Yeah, it's, it's a nice story. It and is. like, if anybody wants to buy him a pitch for the movie, give us a shout. Someone will. Yeah, I feel like Johnny Knoxville will go for it. Feel like we can rope a couple of other people in. It'll be great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's yeah. do it. Yeah. What? So they can make a movie, baby. Well, Star Wars has been sold on it, so you know yeah. what I mean? He might be free for a little while. Who? The director of Star Wars. I'll get them all. Yeah. Yeah, so anyway... Going into, have you got no more news? We're going into Khan, yeah, 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 news. Yeah. Now, this guy, right, I mean, 
We've got a lot to talk about with Kanye this oh, week. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I'm not a big fan. I won't lie. Yeah, right. I I've liked never, his music at the beginning. Never really liked his music. I couldn't bit. tell you any of what any of his albums are called, right? Mm. But he's one of those characters that you kind of see him and you think, oh, well, let's have a hear what he's fucking chuckling on about today. Yeah, let's have right? a laugh. But it's got to the point over the last couple of weeks that Kanye's been in the news way more than I care to uh, admit. Yeah, he's, he's getting he's naughty than ridiculous. a fucking squirrel fart. He's lost his squirrels. I mean, I know yeah. I said this about yeah. fucking Elon Musk last week, yeah, but daddy's hats really fell off. He's not took his medication. Something's going on. What do you think's actually wrong with him? I honestly couldn't tell you. I mean, is it is he having a breakdown after, you know, Kim's left summit. him or, or they broke up there? Or is it a case of his career? He's I mean, just he won a case, eh? He, he only has be, to pay a couple of grand. He to wanted a... to be the president a couple of weeks ago, but after, the, after his behaviour over the last couple of weeks, I don't off. think anybody's... Well, it's interesting because Trump's... Not actually, um, he's, well, no, he's saying I'm not going to take him off the books, the books, if you like, yeah, enough. right. Whereas he's being called to, yeah, and he's saying, nah, I'm leaving him for the minute. Do you know what I mean? Like, but I'm just thinking, is it could this be a little ploy for something later on, right? So, my point is with this, right? He attend, he went on to the um, on to Alex Jones's show in yeah. Four Wars, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah, where he wore a ski mask masked up man yeah telling everybody how he was he loved Hitler and Jesus he was <laughs> and Jesus yeah. yeah he loved Jesus he loved Hitler yeah. Hitler had redeeming qualities um, you know the Jew he was basically saying the Jew was Jewish um, we've been very anti-Semitic yeah. so he's going on about like how uh, Jews own the mainstream media right yeah and they're all against him they're all puppet masters all this because he's been all this enough. stuff right yeah so well, I mean, I'm not being funny, but I can't... You're tripping over news stories about Kanye West at the minute. I wouldn't think if anybody was, you know, like, you know, um, these people who cl- he claims own the media, yeah, they wouldn't be po- posting all these stories about Kanye, yeah, unless, you know, he's trying to self-implode. Do you know what I mean? They're trying to he's it's, kill his own career. Well, yeah, yeah he's self-doing it. He is. Yeah. It's, it's amazing. I yeah. mean, it's amazing when you've got white supremacists agreeing with Kanye West, Fuck saying, you know, you know that, that in itself a is a fucking turn up yeah. for the books, isn't it? But, I mean, Fuck some of know. the news, some of the headlines, obviously, Kanye West's former fans are removing tattoos they've had of him. Yeah, um, painful, but... Jewish enjoy. groups have asked influencers to stop interviewing Kanye West. Yeah, I think at this time, yeah, I think they've got us. Uh, yeah, because he's obviously under some kind of mental strain or some kind of, you know, mental illness. Yeah, well, well, there's something going on. He was actually banned from Twitter this week after he posted, um, uh, I think it was a swastika within the Star oh. of David oh. or something to that effect. Oh, Elon Musk has basically, um, you know, Chucked him off the platform, yeah, and he's right, come so. back with um, um, Elon Musk um, hate speech. Oh, um, now he's got another target to it. Yeah, now. so he Kanye West posted a bizarre Instagram rant uh, calling Elon Musk a genetic hybrid. Uh, oh, days oh. after um, he was removed from Twitter, he's actually now been removed from Instagram as well. Petty, man. So I mean, Petty. the guys, the, his followers. This is the problem when you get people with mega power. Yeah, yeah who are able to go around just doing and saying whatever they want. And again, free speech, yeah. mate. It's yeah, like, yeah. I can't stop you saying it, but when you've got 80 million plus followers and some of these are uh, fragile young youth. Yes. Yeah, yeah. That hang on every word you say. Yeah. Then you need to be held accountable because at the end of the day, yeah, that is dangerous speak and it's not, it's not where we are in this day and age. Do you know what I mean? We, we've, by even kind of, you know, saying that these these events didn't happen, yeah, yeah, and saying no, no, that's it's it's all propaganda and all the rest of it. It's it's too much. Do you know what I mean? I feel like gone too far. He's he's really ruined his career now to the point where he he needs to be removed off all social media, mm. and that's it. Yeah, um, yeah, but then that then it's like Prince Andrew. He fuck off and do what he wants, and no one can see what he's fucking doing. You know what I mean? So if he goes off on his own, he could end up doing something, you know, like joining the KKK, you no, know what I mean? No, it's one of those. Well, if he joins that, or if he joins up, then that's up to him. But if he can't post about it and tell all these impressionable people what yeah. he's doing, 
or influence them. It should be controlled. Yeah, then, but what about then putting a, a court? Thing. Yeah. What about putting a, some kind of court order against him, like what they did uh, to Britney Spears? Maybe, yeah. You so know what I mean? To stop him from actually public, can't use the media and no out. one's allowed to get his use. agent on it Maybe. or something like that. Um, the the idea, I mean, obviously his career's kind of taking a hit now because bottom, of man. it's rock bottom. Uh, but other artists are being dragged into it. So what? They're, I, they're happy, aren't they? Well, I've, imagine this, yeah. So basically, you've heard of the rapper Akon, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah I've seen the interview as so well. Akon has been. I mean, at first I heard about it, I was like, oh, Akon is back in Kanye West. I was like, no, he yeah. can't be. Yeah, yeah, yeah that yeah. doesn't sound right. Doesn't sound right, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was like, what's been going on in the rap game yeah. that Especially all these he's rappers been... are like, you know, coming out as, you know, you know, fucking yeah. anti-Semitic and racist, yeah? Especially when he's going out and like going to Africa, back to his uh, 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 roots and like trying to sort his community uh, Well, in that interview, we were like saying that. Play, good work. Akon played Jerusalem. He has a big fan base over in, in, yeah. in Jerusalem. Yes. He's got no yeah. problem with the Jewish community, right? Yeah. So when I heard that, I thought, that can't be right. I've gone home, I've got looked into it and I find an interview with Akon and Channel 4 News, right? Yeah. Yeah. And basically, Akon is sweating. He sat there looking like mortified, right? Because when he was he, when he was asked, what do you think of Kanye West's right to say what he likes about whatever? He's gone, well, yeah, anyone's well within the rights, you know, he should be able to say what he wants. Not exactly knowing what he was so talking yeah. about. Yeah. yeah, I mean, in the interview, Akon's turned around and said, well, um, well, now I know what he was saying. What yeah. What's been said, I totally don't agree with him. Yeah. yeah? yeah. Now the problem with that is uh, the Jerusalem News it's had gone happened. out and said Acon sides with or yeah. backs West. Yeah? yeah. So everybody on that morning has read the Jerusalem um, News headline. Bad gone, news spreads fast. Acon's as bad as Kanye. Yeah. We're going to get rid of it all his merch now as well. Yeah. When yeah. he's he's not agreeing with him. No. No. But, no, no. And, and it's okay for him to go on interviews and say, you know, oh, well, that's not the case, but the damage is done. And the idea that, um, so you it, know, how many people in Jerusalem are tuning into Channel 4, mm. yeah, to see an interview? Yeah, hardly yeah, any, I when, would imagine. When they've all. <coughs> they've all. <coughs> do apologize, when they've all seen that headline. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, uh, I mean, we've all. He's been doing some good work, can he? Uh, can lately? You know what I mean. Over the last couple of years, he's used his money, influenced Who, Kanye? it. Yeah, uh, t- uh, not Kanye. Sorry, Akon. Akon. Yeah, you know what I mean. So he's he's doing a lot a lot of community stuff. Yeah, he, he looked like he was hurt he's, by it, and yeah. I feel like. Um, and he also believed like he, he agrees that people have the right to speak whatever they want, but he didn't agree what he was what actually he was saying, saying at the I time. Totally, yeah. yeah, yeah. So I mean, I mean, I wanted to bring it up because there yeah. might be still people out there who heard yeah. that rumor, yeah, and, and still, still hating believe on him. it, yeah. and hating yeah, on man. him. So yeah. you know, um, but no, yeah. If you want to YouTube or go onto YouTube and and have a Google of yeah. um, Acon's interview with Channel Four News, yeah, you'll find interview. it. It's a good interview. Uh, do check it out. Um, there is so much more Kanye news. Um, <laughs> yeah, Kanye he's been stripped of his um, nakedness <laughs> honorary degree. Oh shit! Yeah, so we, so yeah, so there was a school of arts um, in Chicago. Yeah, they've revoked his honorary degree. Oh, yeah, what? mate, the guy's getting stripped. It's like when it's like when um, Andrew was like, you know, you oh, can't be yeah. in the army anymore. You can't be this. You can't, can't be that. Do this, You're not you a can't. royal. Yeah. Oh no, no, Kanye's no a lister anymore. He'll be he'll be literally Z Z list um, plus. It was it, what was weirding me out is when he started to go. He went full South Park in the interview on Alex Jones, and Alex mm. Jones is a bit of a kind of a high, like the weird guy sometimes, yeah. But he was like, uh, "You're just doing this to be shocking, aren't you?" And he's like, "Nah, nah." Like next minute, he's got these like little props out, and he's yeah. going doing Cartman like me. I'm the mainstream media sort of thing, and I'm like, "What? I, what am I watching here?" And Kanye's in this fucking ski mask, looking like a fog. It was the fucking weirdest thing I've watched. Did you ever see him? Um, someone filmed it. He was on live stage and he stopped the concert about 20 minutes to, uh, in it or something. And then he was going on, going like, Jay-Z, I don't want you to kill me. <laughs> I, 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 
I, I, I, want, I love you. I want to be your I, friend. Yeah, yeah, and he went on for like about twenty minutes, something I've like that. I've never seen that. It though. was a proper breakdown. Pro- yeah, you can find it on YouTube. It was like it interesting. Was like, what stuff. the fuck? But a few people have done that. A few artists have done that, and I think there's like. I don't think it's a it, 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 it's suspicious in any kind of way, but I think there's some kind of like pressure of like because obviously they, they they need to constantly keep working, bringing a new album out, going out, uh, you know, doing tours, like you know, having uh, uh, newscasts uh, uh, asking questions all it's the time just being and stuff in the like that. Light, but there's got to be like some a, pressure a there. Yeah, is that, do you think it is? But I mean having a breakdown well, probably and then the worst end of a with, breakdown with like you know this this solid sort of belief in what he's saying do you know well, what then I mean? what other way what other uh, the, the only like if it's not a breakdown then who's talking in his ear talking totally, bollocks yeah i mean which that he, he's saying probably like a bit trump, of it. uh but uh, probably trump uh, Q, i mean trump apparently as well trump's jewish allies are basically begging him to uh condemn kanye he's refusing trump so, like well, I say, it's, it depends on you on your outlook, isn't it? David, he might already know that he's a David Letterman. Apparently, had um, an experience with him when oh. he was on when he was on the show, and oh, it right, wasn't okay. a good one. Oh right, is so, that on yeah, yeah. YouTube? I might have to see that one as well. Well, there you go. Well, we we we'll be back with more Kanye news Yay. next week. I'm sure there'll be plenty. To, I mean, look at that. How much in news just a short period in just of a time. short period of time. Yeah. We'll be back with more Kanye news next week. But we've got NASA news to go into now, yeah. and there has been UFO sightings. <gasps> no. Do, 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 do. About Strange time. lights in the sky, All over not the moving place. in books. Yeah, so basically this is um, strange lights. White lights were spotted um, in the sky over High Wycombe last night. Oh, right, okay. Yeah. So, um, oh, if you were in the High Wycombe area and you happened to see these Or even lights, video it. Videoed it, yeah. whatever, please yeah. send us a copy. We'd love to see it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, The Put lights appeared, um, and they appeared not to move for at least 20 minutes. Sounds like sounds like a, an object to sounds me. Sounds like an UFO to me. Um, yes. They were seen from, um, like, quite a distance. Yeah. Um, and um, there was a witness, Chris Brown, says anyone that um knows what the these strange lights are so he's obviously asking that question yeah yeah. and um, they're not moving and they've been here for some time now um now looks I, like they're heading towards london i think now i think there's gonna be um or already happening is i think under the uh thing of let's say let's say police for instance yeah and um, putting drones up and disguising them as, as you would see, like a triangle, what people have been seeing in the areas and stuff like that, to countermeasure, you know, criminal activity or whatever they're, they're, they're looking at at the time. Well, they're not going to so tell us, it, are they? Well, they're no. They're just going to send them up, and we'd just be like, I can see that with governments. I can see that governments doing that kind of shit as well, extra spy abilities there in one way, because you can disguise it as a UFO. All right, okay. Yeah. yeah. Well, I've got another UFO story here. Oh, yeah. Um, a Scots woman, a Scottish woman, um, has been left baffled after spotting a mysterious object flying above her. Oh, right. And okay. above her home. I so she lost time. That's Claire the first Hall, question I'd ask. Well, maybe she did. Uh, she Maybe she did. Maybe she didn't. Mm. Uh, Claire Hall was getting her three sons ready for school um, when around 8.40, there was a yell, and then she was basically saw something in the sky. Yeah. Right? Um. She's taking photos. It was streaming down like a meteorite. Yeah, oh. but it had a weird sort of tail. It had a, du- a dual tail. Yeah. Okay, okay. So, like, if you imagine, like, the solid mass yeah, yeah, and yeah. then where you'd imagine a comet's tail. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It almost had two tails trailing, trailing off it. I've seen one of them before as well. Um. So, when they went out into the garden, they spotted the strange um, item appear to be falling through the air. Mm. The 33-year-old student grabbed a phone and began to film it. Good girl. Um, the mysterious object appeared to be um, severical and had two trails behind it moving through the clear sky. So, she, uh, her and her mum saw it. So, she was like... Double witness, so it, yeah. it can't be anything she's taken in yeah, she's told anything. She's told the Scottish son that she's um, never seen anything like it. it. She thought it was a meteorite. Yeah. Um, 
and then if but then it uh, turned. She, well, she said she saw a meteorite a few years ago, ah, and this so she knows was the nothing like it. So yeah. she said this was totally something else. Interesting Good stuff. Good well done for taking the yeah. uh, photo, getting your phone out Good and thinking. doing that. Um, first thing you should do. Yeah, she said it was very much. It was very different and a lot different to the meteor meteorite she'd seen before. Mm. And uh, she first thought it could have been a satellite, but it was too big, and then it was too bright. Yeah. And it was a different shape or a weird shape. She said it was just amazing. It was um, it was so, so different, and she's glad she saw it. So yeah, yeah, yeah. good. Well, good. have you seen a UFO? Anybody out there? If you've seen one, we'd love yeah. to hear your story. I've Send us two. a story in, um, and we would, would gladly cover it. Yeah. Oh yeah, definitely, definitely about that. Well, have you got any NASA news you want to cover? Any UFO sightings or well, anything spacey? Spacey, yeah. Uh, you know this new, this mission that's been going off, Artemis, uh, Artemis. to go around the uh, moon yes. and back. Right, well... Well, you know uh, what Artemis means? Go on. Well, I'm, I'm asking you. No. No. I do, but I'm going to... Um, You're going to double it? check gonna, it now, Yeah, I'm going right, to double yeah. check it. Yeah. It's you not going to be on. what you think of, but no, you're no, going to no, say, you... yeah, this is what it is, yeah. No, no, you crack on with yeah. your story. Well, tell me what it is now before... It, it, what no, you think it is before you, you actually find crack out. Crack on with your story. I just yeah, wanted to make sure sneaky. I've got it right. Yeah, all right. Well, um, basically, um, the uh, they've been video videoing it going round um, the moon... And the video is absolutely shockingly shit. <laughs> yeah, it was better from the 60s, wasn't it? Yeah. Which lends more credence to so the idea that it was hiding. false. Yeah, 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 totally. And it's like, it, it, it's some, but there's some more videos supposed to be coming out. And it was done with a, a GoPro, I think it was. Really? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, uh, but yeah, the, the video is absolutely bobbins i've never seen anything like it i thought it was a fucking joke when they first showed it and i'm thinking hd stuff like that no and no, it's, like, it's like i've got better bullshit. 720p yeah it's like for right well yeah i was I, it 60s. was what i was thinking but it was there's a bit more to it here there so artemis is the Quite greek right in greek um mythology yeah um a greek religion yeah uh, is the goddess of wild animals or the hunt which is what i thought it was the goddess of the hunt um okay. so yeah so is that what they're doing? What are they hunting for? Uh, it's a test run, isn't it? It's a test run because they're going to fire it round uh, the moon. It's coming back now. Uh, when it lands, they're going to set another mission off, I believe, I, I believe in the next six months. Tell her, boys. We're going on a hunt. Yeah, and then find eventually aliens. a Those blackguards. male and a female uh, will go up um, and actually land on the moon. Hey, um, a bit of moon stuff. Will yeah. they best upgrade the cameras? Yeah, I th- actually, I think the next trip is with two humans going round the moon and back because this was a, a tester. Or there might be another tester before they actually send them round. But then eventually they're going to land on the moon uh, and then you basically try and build a base and use it as a station to move off to uh, Mars. But at the same time, on the dark side of the moon... China China's there, doing they? it, yeah. And are they've they already got up massive there? plans, yeah. They've already built, like, a fucking casino and everything up there, man. Yeah. They're already they're at raking it. raking it in, man, with moon dust. Sweet. Sweet right. Well, um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Mm, yeah, yeah that's, that's it for me. It. That's it for you. It well, is indeed, we'll yeah. be back next week with another episode, and it's Christmas. It is, it's It Christmas. will be. Um, not to, you know, kind of like, you know, discourage other holidays. If yeah. you have an, if you celebrate other things other than Christmas, yeah. happy holidays to yeah. you as well. I mean, it's, a, you know, it's holidays for everyone, everyone around yeah. this time of year, isn't it? Yeah. It is like 12 sort of celebrations going on. You've got like Hanukkah, you got like... Uh, what, uh, Here's a question for you. A couple then. Where in history do, um, which country actually used to celebrate Little Christmas... On the 6th of January. L- Little Christmas? Yeah, for the women. For the wi- Only for the women? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Canada? Nope. Uh, uh, Ireland? Ireland. It was the island indeed, yeah. Whoa. Little Christmas on yeah. the 6th of January it was. Um, yeah, See, so there you go. I was going to say Ireland first, but I thought... There's, there's plenty of loads be. of little mad traditions from all over the places. Oh, where yeah. It's like, you know, your Christmas isn't the same as my Christmas, so I'll just say happy holidays. Yeah. yeah. Uh, whatever you're doing. Yeah. Um, enjoy your week. Yeah. There's going to be plenty of Christmas and holiday parties yeah, going enjoy. on this week with work or whoever you're, whoever you're celebrating with. Yeah. Have a blinding time. We'll catch you for our Christmas freestyle episode. Yeah. Oh, no, we we'll will. be back next week for another episode. Yeah, then it's true. the Christmas 
Because uh, I think that's it. A lot of people are breaking up this week. Yeah, I think uh, 22nd, around the 22nd and then, Friday. And then we have a Christmas episode. So, yeah, yeah, I'm getting ahead of myself. Yeah. There you go. Well, we'll be back next week as yeah. per... Yeah. Um, so catch us then. If you've not subscribed, yes, make sure yes, you do. Subscribe, make sure yeah. you tell a friend. Yeah. Knock on your neighbour. Listen know. to old tell episodes. Download them all. Download them for fun. Download yeah. them, delete them, download them again. And you're going to have time now to sit back, relax and listen. And listen to... Um, yeah. We've got plenty of episodes there, yeah. so we'll definitely Tons, find something sounds. to um, tickle, your, tickle your funnies. Yeah. Right. Oh, well, we're, we're available on iTunes, Spotify, YouTube... Um, anywhere you get a podcast, uh, if you want to get in touch with us, it's neverstraightanswer at gmail.com or visit the website at neverstraightanswer.co.uk. Yeah, yeah. We're available on Twitter, unlike yeah. Kanye West. Yeah. Um, at now we're probably un- come back. Never, and we're available on Instagram, we unlike know, Kanye yeah. West, uh, at neverstraightanswer. Might pay him out and go here. I, I've, I've saved myself on the divorce. Here, well, here I don't want to see him back. To be Aye, honest. Just because he comes back don't mean you have to follow him. We, we, well, we'll, we'll see what happens next week anyway we, we, because we, we, we'll, we'll be back with some Kanye news next week, I'm sure. Yeah, I'm pretty anyway, sure. Right, well, that's the show. We'll yes. catch you next time. I've been Gaz. I've been Taylor. And this has been the Never A Straight Answer podcast. Yeah. See you soon. Peace. Out.